There we go. Hey. What's up? Hey. Huh? Hi. What's hey. up? Hey. I didn't pick that up. Hey. Um, I kicked down the door. What's going on, guys? How y'all doing? Uh, today? Hey, what's going I'm on doing with you? Good. How much did you catch on the fucking microphone when you unmuted, Brad? Yeah, uh, this I think, is really important. I uh, you have to ask chat because I don't pay attention mm. when I unmute. Oh. I'm too, busy. Mm. I'm too oh, busy. I'm too busy. Oh, oh, oh! So you didn't catch anything? That's I good. Don't, I don't think I did. No. Is he winking? Did you want me Listen? to? Do you want me to pay attention more when I unmute? Like, what do you need from me? What do? You, what would you like me to do? Don't warn us and just like subtly do it and wait for a minute. I think oh, that's a good idea, time. actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that <laughs> that's sounds solid. great. I actually you... think that's. I'm gonna be like the opposite here and say that's the most unhinged thing I could possibly <laughs> imagine happening. Mm. Yeah, so if, if you that just was like the way unmuting in two and then unmute in one and just sit there <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. fucked. That's fucked. I, I see. I see where you're coming from with that, and you, you're you're absolutely correct. I uh, I don't think we will do that. I don't think we're I mean, gonna do that. Fine, it's his channel. I mean, right? here's the here's the we'll fucked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I love the fact that you get all your unhinged shit out of the way when I'm just muting because I'm like, oh, they'll be fine for like a minute or two, and that's when it's just. It all fucking comes out. Jesus Christ. Um, all right, let's do let's do some ocean sounds. Because you guys are on Europa. It's a nice relaxing area. You oh, know, it's nice. Yeah, you've been. Is it? God. Whoa. God. That's wow. just that's just quiet. What the fuck? My ocean's kind of quiet. I guess so, but like not to the point where I can't hear shit. Like it's not even picking up the desk. Like the desktop audio is not even picking it up. It's just like, oh, this is the quietest. It's what the frick? Er, maybe er. it's just maybe it's just. Yeah, it's OK. We're not going to worry about it. It's all good. I'm just going to go ahead and just have that there. I hear the waves. Maybe I'm just deaf. <laughs> yeah, I might just be You're deaf. old, Brett. I am. You're That's getting old. But we're all getting old. Oh, look at that token. Hmm? What? Oh yes, the uh, I can see her. yes, uh, Verso now has a token, so you know what she looks like. Not that it matters; you may never Sick. see her again. But I did want to get that token oh, yeah. done. <laughs> I did want to get that token done. You know? Yeah, we're never gonna see her again in air quotes. Okay. Yeah, think uh, Stingray Island. <laughs> I'm <laughs> aiming the guns towards Stingray Island. All right, get the Europa going. Uh, just the, the the there we go, baby. Just the briefest of recaps before we get started, because it was a very I think a chill enough session last week. Uh, you guys arrived over in Europa. Uh, you had been given uh, some opportunities that you would have discovered here from the Callaway Cartel, specifically a contact uh, Verso Garda. Uh, who was able to provide you a spot to land the ticket because your ship is still not registered. Uh, so the Star Sea uh, Port Authority uh, would not accept your ship unless you registered and paid a ridiculous fee. You said, no, thank you. We'll land someplace else. They said, all right, GLHF. You guys land over in Stingray Island. Uh, there you met with Verso, uh, who lets you know of a, a little, acti little, you know, a little wacky activity she needs to get done. Uh, it is going to be an engine heist for if you it is something that you are interested in in the future. Uh, just a little, uh, little rewind on that because uh, a good question came up, which was, "Hey, how are you going to transport the engine?" And I gave you a complicated answer when the answer is really simple. Uh, Verso will provide you a bag of holding to transport the engine Whoa. if you need to. Uh, she'll run it out to you for a small fee uh, if you don't have one, uh, and then give it back to you uh, once you've done that, or if you have a bag of holding on your own. But that's for the future if you do decide to take that. With the ship landed, you guys would have left Stingray Island uh, to check out the main area of Jashor. Uh, there, she went over to a couple of curiosity stores, that seemed to have been operated by the same goblin, uh, where you got a bunch of fun knickknacks and trinkets and uh, just stuff that Bo uh, was not a fan of. Uh, after doing a little bit of gathering information, uh, a little investigation around uh, town for the couple of hours that you were there, uh, you would have learned about the Going Ons, uh, a film festival that goes into a variety of subjects, including Div and Void. Uh, a new little, like, boba shop that opened uh, by some goblin brothers. 
And you even learned a little bit about uh, Kem, who arrives here off island, but you're uncertain where. That's okay, because the bomb uh, went ahead and did a lovely little suggestion spell over on the goblin to say, hey, find out all you need to know about Kem, come back here in eight hours. And they went, roger, roger. And now the goblin has wandered off into the streets to discover that information. That's definitely going to pay off, and he's not going to fuck up his <laughs> role. So... Uh, one can only hope, but, uh, with that, that was the gathering ons that you all had, uh, seen once upon a time before and the information you've received. Uh, and now I've unpaused the map. The map is all, uh, for you. The stage is set. Uh, you are currently at the Northern part of Jashore, uh, over at these docks by the curiosity stores, which both have been, uh, both have been closed, you know, closed down, uh, because the operator has, uh, has left the area now he's walked away and uh oh god and uh yeah so now uh yeah you guys do whatever you'd like to do the stage is yours we had like hours to kill in this day but i don't remember why exactly uh are we all what? going off to do our own things yeah, uh, we're, we're going splitting on a date, up right? felt like we're going to do something <laughs> we were splitting up t to buy time because the goblin was still out or was it for something else well, yeah, we were going to, like, just kill the day because Goblin was still out. We had, like, eight hours, so we just, like, all grabbed, like, different stuff to do. But, but yeah. we were going to do that. We were going to wait till Goblin came back to see if he had different info other than what we were going to act on. Right. I, I also think we're act on. <laughs> I also think we were trying to, like, we hadn't exactly confirmed with the, uh, the lady if we were actually going to take her heist job or not. That is correct. We were uh, just, just going to think about it. That is correct. The uh, heist was offered up to you, and if you're ready to, if, whenever you're ready to accept the job, if you decide right. to accept it, yes. Right. But, but, but nothing now that had we, been confirmed. Now that we know, if we do the outlaw or the, um, fuck, the bounty first, uh, right. and then the uh, the heist second, we could make away with that engine um, and not like get in trouble with the cartel because we would have the money from the bounty. Yes, that is um, one of the things you did bring up is just stealing and <laughs> taking the engine for yourself. Hmm. Cartel well, wrath be damned. It. <laughs> oh, I don't, okay. I don't fuck with the cartel. Okay. Oh, okay. Because I think the bomb mentioned at one point in time was like, we could just steal this thing. The bomb has no basis for the danger of the cartel it. and how mad they could be. So he's just like, we've killed some crazy <laughs> fucking <laughs> shit. I do not care about random guy two and three and robot yeah. in closet. That is true. You guys have seen uh, like different cosmic worlds and have witnessed the birth of Io. And yeah, so but Felsic has a thousand yard stare of someone who grew up on the internet. <laughs> that is also true. <laughs> but yeah, whatever you guys decide to do is is ultimately up to you. Jesus, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I saw those videos. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, um, yo, film festival though. You said something about Dim and Void. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't remember that. Yeah, yeah. I think that, I remember I think the you, cheese space one. Yeah, oh, that's yes. News to us. Oh, sorry. Let me reread uh, that. Uh, yes, the cheese space was one of the the thing there. Uh, give me one second, and we'll read exactly what the the film festival is doing with the uh, the going ons. Where the frick? Where the... One moment. What the heck? What? What the... Uh, yes. Uh, the annual... Europa Film Festival starts, uh, tomorrow and lasts a week. Uh, featuring more than 23 productions from Europa and nearby planets. Uh, this year's film includes a combat documentary filmed in deep chi space. Uh, several art house dramas and an artistic piece centered around the ancient deities of Div and Void. Mm -hmm. A one day pass will cost you five credits and access to the entire festival's costs uh, will cost you 25 credits. To see everything. Everything. I don't know. It's kind of expensive. Everything. Everything is completely loaded. It's not, it's not expensive at all, dude. We, we could just kick rocks down by the docks if you want. Yeah, yeah, shut up, though. I could cover this. Oh. 
All right. So you're <laughs> you're buying me. you're buying two film passes. Is that correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, that'll be uh, fifty credits total. Uh, and you both now have an all access pass for the entire week towards the fair, for towards the. Uh, for oh, the wait, film I thought festival. It was, I thought it was just the whole day. Oops. The whole day. The whole day is five. Oh, I, I, I just want the day. Sorry, <laughs> I misunderstood. No, it's listen, all good. Listen, like I did like crazy cardio before this, and I've been like shaking and like nauseous. This no, you're intro. good. You're good. <laughs> Tummy hard. I'm cool. I'm holding it together though. You're like, give me the best passes, and then you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, you both would get uh, VIP tier. What? Oh my God! Is there, a VIP? <laughs> there is not a VIP Bring tier. To meet any of the actors? Oh damn it! No, no there's no VIP. T- they'll probably be there watching the films with you and looking back at you with this big smile, like this is my favorite part. It's okay. We hey. can like jump one of the directors. Above board question: Can Bo see any of this or hear? Or is he too far away? I leave that up to uh, Zug and Felsic. Uh, yeah, we can just be talking about it. Yeah, but yeah. I, and I hear it. Unless you've run sure. off to the cafe already. Yeah, we're we're. Yeah, if you, kind if you, you want to creep on us, like go crazy. <laughs> That's on you. Okay, thanks. <clears throat> is that is that all you wanted to know? <laughs> if you could creep, is that it? Yeah. Well, I'm just checking. We'll see. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. We'll see. A uh, bow is secretly creeping. What are the rest of y'all doing, though? Get the bomb and uh, get up to trouble. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> That's what we talked about. Yeah, I know it's been like 10 seconds since we talked about what we were doing, but what were we doing again? <laughs> I don't know. They were going off to do something I have no interest in. And I was thinking, hey, last time you and I went off to do something, we made money. Yeah, we should just walk until we find something. If we something walk until happen. we find something, we may be able to cash out hard. <laughs> mm. This has got to go good. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yes. Um, are you good with direction? Because if I go, we're going to get lost and I don't know where we are. Yeah, yet. we go that way. Mom just points in a direction. He does not good with directions, but he's confident. All right, we're going this way. All right. That's where we'll end up going. Understood. So you're just going to watch as uh, while you guys are over here on this street, um, Drask and the bomb uh, start going off uh, in this direction towards ass. <laughs> Theater ass. <laughs> yes. 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 God, look, they're on the prowl. God, I'm eight again. Oh God, Let's go. Boys, am I missing Boys Night Out? What the? <laughs> Getting some assembly. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Great. That was good. Good good stuff, everyone. Real highbrow entertainment. All right. Damn, good. God, so fucking good. And funny. Did we mention we're funny? Hilarious, dude. Uh, so what what is this cafe right here? Just above board. Like, the, is this an the little cafe. Oh yeah, I could, I could. You, you are you want to, you want to peek in? Because I mean, that's the only uh, way we're gonna, you're gonna know what it is. Okay, Bo was like his ears were twitching a bit. Like he, he, dude, he, any moment fell sick, and Zelga together. He's just gotta write it down. He's writing it down. Okay. Mm-hmm. He's like oh sniffing the air. And he's looking around. Mm-hmm. And he sees this little cafe, and he just puts his entire face flat. <laughs> On, yeah. I'm, I'm assuming glass of this cafe while yeah. still holding this pen and paper of his like uh, what is it called again when people write fanfics there we fanfics, go fanfics yeah That's what so are, you, are you going to be following us wait are they that that's close awesome if you are but I have a 10 perception so maybe <laughs> oh. I don't know I guess oh. you should make a oh. Oh, shot. Ten. With a 10 Ooh. yeah I have a 10 <laughs> Oh, and let's not, watch I'm out. I'm not <laughs> perfect, is what I'm trying to say. Like, you can slip under the radar. Yeah, yeah. If, if you want to be a, but... a, a, a little stinker about it. Yeah, absolutely. You can just sneak around. Um, so first answer your question as you're, like, staring into this cafe. Um, are you staring in the cafe because you think Bo and Zug are there? Or are you just staring in the cafe to stare in the cafe? To stare in the cafe because I'm, I'm guessing he's like smelling something, right? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're gonna go ahead and go over there. You're gonna press your little face up against the glass, and inside is a little modest cafe, a couple of tables here and there. Uh, you're gonna see that it has like a 
it, it, it is just like it's like a little 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 breakfast cafe uh with some with some coffee uh there you're gonna see a uh a female rock gnome staring back at you behind the uh behind the the counter it's just kind of like raised your eyebrow a little bit because your face is like pressing right <laughs> up against the glass scene what's going on and you're just gonna hear just sort of muffled from behind the glass <laughs> and she's just gonna kind of like motion you inside. I kind of got it. <laughs> it's it so <laughs> quiet to me. <laughs> it's muffled it's... glass. He's just like, we're open. Okay. Are there cute desserts? No, there are not. It'd be, it, it literally is just like little, uh, little, little pastries here and there. Nothing cute or fancy. A little croissants, some muffins, a little coffee maker in the back. It's pretty much that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. After Bo has a look <clears throat> very thoroughly, he's no longer interested. He walks away. Okay. Hoggers. Laying on her cute desserts. Shut up. Shut up, Juniper. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Bo and his cute desserts? Well, yeah, yeah but. Who's Lena? Your lane is showing. Be a minus one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. Splash OC, you're kind of on your last limb here, all right? OC, you break character I'm... like that again, and... Uh... Yeah, I'm <laughs> sending a message to the admins now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you fucking slash I'm... OOC'd me, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get a ticket, I think. I'm gonna put you in the dirt. <laughs> I'm gonna get a ticket, I think. This is harassment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. Is there like a like a like a like a pamphlet for this film festival? Yeah, I, I would say that uh, Zug would have found it, and you would have seen like the like it's just this little uh, like homemade pamphlet, like self printed out, it wasn't like mass produced or anything like that. And you'll just see, you know, Europa Film Festival, fifty second annual Europa Film Festival. That's, that's a lot of years. That's not bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was like looking over this. I know, like, we want to see the Chi documentary, obviously, but like, if we're like there long enough, I really want to see the 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 div thing. You know? Oh, that that one. Yeah. The yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, I don't know. Like, I know you sort of maybe kind of have a connection, but like, I'm trying to still figure out my footing with this whole div thing. I don't know. Maybe it might help. Yeah, okay. It sounds yeah, fun. Uh, Bo, roll a stealth check, please. Okay. Beat a 10. Yeah, can you beat my 10 passive perception, Bo? <laughs> Gotta beat the 10. Wait, is this updated? There's utility, conditions. Oh, yeah, somewhere. so when you click your uh, token... Why does this look different? Yeah, it does be look different. Because it's different. Ooh, uh, I like it, though. Mouse over attributes... Head on down mm -hmm. to skills, and you should see stealth right there. I really like how you oh, can see your wow. pluses. <clears throat> uh, so, uh, Felsic, you will feel a wet nose pressed up against your leg. Felsic, like, like squints down at Bo, and she does, like, the thing where she, like, she, like, points at both of her eyes and points at both of Bo's eyes. But she <laughs> otherwise doesn't. She doesn't say anything. Uh... Bo quietly takes this just a little step back and kind of like continues to doodle on his little fanfic situation secretly. Bo oh, plops down yeah. on the street and starts drawing something in the book. Brett, uh, yes. I, just because I, I noticed it when they were talking about the attributes and stuff, I'm I'm on my uh, Saturday character. Oh, sheet. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's that's going to happen. Okay, easy Look, fix. Oh, okay. I can fix that. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two HP. <laughs> <laughs> don't, Two big ones. <laughs> don't, don't, you're like, don't want to see it. Don't want to see it. Yeah, let me get. Don't want to look at it. Let me mm -hmm. get you. Let me get you configured. Thanks for configuring me, bud. Hey, you're you're welcome. Hey, sick configuring. <laughs> sick configuration, <laughs> dude. Hey, you got it. You got it. All right, uh, you should be uh, good to go. And if it's still set on your character sheet, you may okay, have cool. to refresh. She's going to, Felsic is going to nudge Zuck. Uh, let's get out of here. The paparazzi is on us. The what? The paparazzi, Zug. That, like. It's a joke. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's go. Okay. <laughs> mm. 
All right, give me one quick moment. I have to see something just real quick. Uh, ba 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 da ba ba. <laughs> I'm checking something. Would it be there? No. Would it be here? <gasps> would it be there? I think it would be there. All right. So Are you going to share with us? Yes, I will. I just need to get the confirmation. God, uh, the film festival is currently being at is currently at the, the yes, the Botanics Fields, specifically where they grow the salt rice. So there'll be an open area over there uh, where you'll be able to watch the film outside uh, with a bunch of seats there. Some open areas where you can like kind of like plop down a blanket, get nice and cozy if you want to. Uh, the Botanic Fields is located over here in the grow rest so you have to cross a couple of uh it's so far <laughs> oh god we're gonna be awkwardly walking <laughs> no. Each other too. no we're not going in the same direction are we shit you two don't come anywhere near theater ass or i swear <laughs> <to God. laughs> Fuck, I think we're gonna have to pass whoa, by theater this ass. Is crazy. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you guys doing on hey. this part of town? Uh, Fancy seeing you two here. We were just Fancy on our way. West. Seeing you two here. Yeah, Why are you we walking next to us in the same I thought you were leaving. Take care. Uh -huh. Hi. Just keep walking right beside you. Yeah. <laughs> The Bob and Jurassic don't have a destination. We no. just chose a direction, so we are going to be continuing in this direction until something stops us. So. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, <laughs> this is kind you guys of... are gonna hit a paywall, you know. You're gonna uh, you're gonna walk up over to the magnosphere, uh, which is which is really funny that this is here because this was before all the, the the Vegas sphere beams. But that's exactly what this thing is currently. <laughs> oh my is God. This giant sphere. Uh, just kind of showing off uh, like little advertisements of what's uh, what's around as you're like walking by the Whoa. sphere. Capitalism is kind of beautiful, isn't it? How do you make that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's funny. Big, but yeah, big sphere. Yeah, as you're crossing it's over the bag of sphere, you'll see magnets. There's I a lot. Of, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of folks just like crossing over the busy streets of the magnosphere. Um, you'll kind of see little fountains like kind of like spritz out uh, from around the sphere as well as it kind of just kind of sprays up a little bit, like little tiny little fountains that that you can like put your foot on and try and stop or whatever. And you kind of see a couple of people running around there having a having a good time. Are there like any like touristy like gift shops or anything around, or do we need to get closer to the film festival for that? Oh, for the for for that, yeah, you'll probably you'll have to continue to go there. Right now, okay, this okay. this open area, I mean, this kind of doesn't it, like even though the sphere is here, you know, as you're looking around, there's a variety of different s shops and, and stores, a couple of restaurants, um, and and yeah, it's just a it's just like a big open area uh, as you approach over on this side though you'll see some of the bridges that are crossing over to the other metal islands uh as you make your way to the um as you make your way to the frogs whoa the frogs why is it why is it called that mm. it's on the lily pad you don't know we don't know okay brett where's the boba shop Ah, that's a great question. The boba shop will be located. One, fucking boba shop? One over here. <laughs> yes, that's one of the uh, things that you would have discovered. Uh, the boba shop is located to the... Oh, yes. Uh, it's located at the uh, right over here at the Blue Rye Sky View. Little cafe right over there is the boba shop. Can you remind me again how we discovered this so I... Like, yes, you discovered that uh, from Zug, who, uh, as you guys were over at the Curiosity Store, uh, he spent about, you know, about an hour or so just kind of like looking around, seeing what's going on in that area. And Bo just runs off hours into a completely opposite direction. All right. So Bo is gone. Um, so, Bo, you're like charging your way uh, down south. This is going to be th this is going to distance you uh, pretty heavily uh, from the party. Is that all right with you? Yes. 
Okie dokie. Uh, so, as you guys are reaching a crossroad here, um, are uh, Drask and the bomb, are you guys kind of like following uh, in the same direction? We're as... not following anywhere. Yeah, you're no. walking in the same direction. Of course not. <laughs> yes. We are two separate parties awkwardly walking next to each other while the bomb and Drask try to figure out what we're going to do to make some quick cash. So, as you arrive over at the Magnosphere, uh, what where would you what would you say your um, you 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 both are doing at this point because you'll kind of notice like Felsic and Zug will start going off in this direction to cross over past the frogs. Um, would you two be doing the same, or would you be like going more south? I feel like we wouldn't. I mean, the bomb wouldn't be crossing anything. I think. No, be, like, I don't want to go across a bridge. I I actually want to. I want to find the smartest looking person around me besides Zug, of course. <laughs> 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 I want to approach any if anybody looks smart around this area. All right. Uh, so you're kind of trying to figure out someone who looks smart. Let's see what happens. Uh, there, you're going to see uh, this old mountain dwarf walk by. He's got little glasses on his face. And because he has glasses like your brother Zug, he must be very smart. Or at least that's what you believe. Mm, mm, mm. He's kind of wobbling hey. past. You scream, hey, randomly into the street. The dwarf's going to continue walking, not realizing <laughs> a stranger is yelling at them. God damn it. Uh, I walk up closer to him. I say, excuse me, hey. Uh, he looks over. <laughs> what? What do you want? Uh, how do you make money? Oh. He's Here. Specifically. He stared over at you and he's like, I don't know, get a job or something. Where do we get a job? At, yes, where do we find a job and or where is our large collective of money already available? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I'm a farmer, so uh, I work over at the Grow, grow Rest, uh, but currently that's being off for some sort of uh, film festival, so I'm taking the week off. Uh, you, could, you could always be a farmer, I guess. Does that pay good money? Is that the most money you can make Does that make money make here? quickly? I don't, I don't know about that. If you're looking to make money quickly, I suppose. Hmm, let me go ahead and think right over here. What you could go ahead and do? I'm gonna go ahead and roll a little, little thing. Uh, he's like, I don't know. Uh, shoot, I mean, they got there's lots of fancy little estates around here. Why don't you go and ask a, a rich guy how he makes his money? Point the way to the nearest rich guy, if you will. <laughs> Look around you. He's gonna like point at like all of the estates that have just like scattered about. He's like, there's uh, all the estates are here, investors of the islands, you know, they this is their land right over right over here. You could go ahead and head off in that direction. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't go over to the frogs. Just, there's not too many uh, there. But if you had a uh, southeast over at the Blue Rise at Skyview, oh, plenty of beautiful shops and estates over there. You could uh. go ahead and speak to someone about it if you want to know. I don't understand why you're asking. Are you are you like down on your luck or something? I mean, no. money's cool. Money is very. You cool. like money, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I like money, sure. Exactly. Do I okay, mean? Goodbye. Uh, goodbye forever. He stands there, uh, confused at the interaction that has just happened. He stands there for a solid thirty <laughs> seconds, thinking to himself, <laughs> "What the <laughs> entire nation?" Uh, Felsic Zug, you notice this dwarf just standing there looking at the Magnosphere for a second before he just... <sniffs> Alright, well, and then he's just gonna continue on this way. Okay, they got distracted. Now's our chance. Now we can go to the frogs. The frogs! I wonder why it's called that. Uh, as you cross over to the bridge, um, just kind of focus on you two for a second. As you guys cross over to the bridge, uh, you'll find yourself like a heavy smell. Um, that is like fallen over the area, specifically as you cross past the waste and water recycling plant. Uh, <laughs> there, <Go> you, sick. There, <laughs> <laughs> there you'll recognize where the frog gets its name because of its reptilian smell and funk that seems to be over the area. As it reptilian smell and funk. As it uh, is kind of like, yeah, as this metal island has floated over here, and as you're passing over the waste facility, you can just smell it. You can just smell like the the dirt and the and the grime, grime um, as you're crossing through the frogs. Okay, we found out why it's called the frogs, I guess. Let's just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
this you'll, place sucks. You'll cross this over. Sucks. You'll see a, a bunch of individuals as they're working. They seem to be covered in, in various dirt and mud as they stare at you as you're walking past. Wait, they like stare at us? They oh, like yeah, absolutely. Them. They're looking at you as you're looking by. One looks back at them. One God, small. Did we take a wrong turn? One small child look over at you and says, Are you part of the mainland? No. Uh, no, we're tourists. Uh, tourists? What are you doing here at the Frogs? Just, you know, seeing the sights. Actually, we're just passing through. You got any money on you? Yeah, a little. Can I have some? I'm a little hungry. Uh, I got a ration. You want yeah, that? Do you want, do you want food? Yeah, I, mean, I guess if you want to go ahead and give me that, it's not going to do me much good. And then he'll hold up his hand over to you. I mean, I think it will if you're hungry. Sure. Um, yeah, I'll take it. How old is this person? <laughs> he looks young. He looks like a he looks like a little, little youngin. He's like, yeah, I'll go. Know. I'll go and take that. What do you do for fun? Huh? Oh, what do I do? I drink over at the pub. Oh, okay. Oh. This is not the age group I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> Upon closer investigation, you'll discover that as he kind of like approaches, like, hey, I'll take that ration. You look over, you'll just see patches of hair like going up and down this guy's arms. He's wearing some dirty old overalls. And then you'll notice the scruff that's grown on his face. This is no child. This is a halfling. And he's walking up to you. And he's like, I'll go ahead and take that right there. Okay. Uh, all right. Get out of here. Hey, you got any? You got anything? <laughs> you got anything to drink? Yeah. <laughs> give him something to drink. What do, you, water? what do you give him? Do Do we not just have like? I thought food rations included just like water and like. Oh yeah, no, yeah. You got you got like water skids and things like that. So are you giving him that? Yeah. Just like regular water. Oh, okay. Well, I, I never had mainland drink before. And he kind of drinks and then he spits it out a little bit. He's like, what, this, what, what is this? This is a watered down booze you handed me right there. Uh, okay. All right, pal. You need help. <laughs> you need help. <laughs> what are you talking about? What do I need help? I'm just looking for a little, a little nip. You know what I'm saying? What? A little <clears throat> nip. A little nip in the bud. A little, you know. Oh. I thought it was like um, slang for like space drugs. So. Hey, no. hey, I just, hey, I just checked the time, uh, and we gotta get to the festival like really soon if we want to catch that thing. Oh yeah, oh, you're shoot. right. Okay. The, the, the pub will be right open. Go ahead and come here. I'll get you a drink. He turns around, and starts walking away. Yeah, it's right this way. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't belong here. Hey, I think. Where are you going? <laughs> He's just screaming out. Oh, the crap, the don't look back, don't look why back. did he why did he like want to he wanted to be your friend so bad? What's up with that? I think it's because I kept giving him things. Oh. You'll see he'll get over sad. to this side of the bridge before he gets winded looking past. He's like, come on, let it, uh, all right, bye. And he just kind of turns around and walks the way. <laughs> okay, he seems to have encountered some kind of force field. I don't think he's allowed to pass the bridge. <laughs> Me meanwhile, as you guys approach over to the film festival, uh, let's head on over to our two little guys over here. You guys are traveling now down south of the Magnosphere. Uh, the bomb and uh, Jurassic, what are you all doing? Hey, bomb. Yeah. Which way is southeast? I don't know that way. Uh, can I do like some kind of roll to see if I even <laughs> know which way is south or north? We don't have compasses. No. Yeah, sure. Go for it. Uh, what kind of role do you think that would be? Just a perception? I think that would be a, either a perception or a wisdom check. Just a flat That's wisdom a check. check. Alright. Uh, I mean... Uh, you have a general idea that, you know, this might be north. As you're kind of like looking up over at the sun, but then you realize you're actually off planet, and the sun's placement is now completely different from what it was before. So, uh, I think at the end you're a little uncertain. Any Anyone's guess? I don't know, that way. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. I see it. Yeah, the bomb would follow the sun even um, though it wasn't correct anymore. Yep. Hey, as I turn this corner, what does this building look like? Uh, the uh, It looks like a big, almost giant, like, like cybernetic circus tent is the does best way to describe like it. Does it at all? Oh, absolutely. In fact, as you guys are walking through here... Uh, <laughs> yeah, one moment, please. I got a map oh, for this. Oh, he's one-momenting us. 
Uh huh. Uh -huh. We turned a corner. Yeah. One moment. one moment. I'm one momenting. Yeah. Sometimes you just got a one moment. Okay. Uh, I just have oh, to make sure. Get us all in a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> one moment, please. Uh, making sure everything is good to go here. Oh my fucking god. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes. Okay. Actually, I have a map for this. This is funny. Whoa. What? Why do you have this? What? <laughs> Why do you have this? You stumbled into an area that has a map. Whoa. Okay, is it still... Is it still the same, like, layout where south was south before? <laughs> Kinda, <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. Uh, yeah. So that... that, that Circusy looking place would be down this corridor. Here. Yeah, absolutely. You'll see a, a a shop that is opened. Uh, that's open over here. It says uh, magical um, magical oddities. Whoa. Just, oh, oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, this shop is called the Fair Ent. Uh, so what do you think? Have, I've been workshopping this new way to. Uh, Maybe make us a little bit extra money, but it would involve you being able to distract someone for, well, about a minute while I do my thing. Okay. Uh, if you tell me who to distract, I could do it. I got a good way. I was just thinking of this. Go into a shop to try to figure out if it'll even work. Okay, this is closest. I think we'll have this. I got a pretty good idea of what to do. Uh, re? You okay, open the door. Open. Yeah, you'll open the door. Uh, from there, uh, you'll see uh, a female dwarf. One moment. Uh, you'll see a, a female dwarf who greets you warmly. Uh, she'll say, uh, "Hi, right, welcome to my shop. Come on in." Uh, one Have second. Plenty good. What's wrong? Hey, should I like stand somewhere? Is there somewhere you'd want them not to look? I think it's just the less eyes on me while I do this, the better. It's kind of a it's kind of a magical thing. Okay, okay. Hey! Hey there. Hey, is that a mirror over there? Um, she's, so she's looking over at you, and she's like, uh, yes, uh, you're free to inspect, but please don't touch anything. Everything's very sensitive. Okay. And fragile, uh, too. Hang on one second. Trask, over here. Oh, yeah. I, I, how could I forget? It is of utmost importance that I'm able to touch whatever it is I am doing this on. Should we have like a code word when you find what you want to, you know, do? Maybe we go in there and we ask for what, point us to the most valuable thing. And then we make a big fuss about having to touch whatever it is we're going to attempt to purchase. Okay. Hey! Again? I? I? How, how, how goes it? Hey, we're rich. What's your most expensive thing? We want to buy stuff. Yes, we're looking to spend our capital. <laughs> uh, well, very good for you. I'm so glad that you found yourself some wealth. I I suppose, um, she's kind of like looks around the area. If you're looking for, uh, how much money do you have on you? And perhaps we can Immense work with that price rate. Sums. So much that I honestly have lost count. Like, right. there comes a point where you just make so much that counting is more expense than it's worth. When I type my vast amounts of money into a calculator, it explodes. Yeah, go ahead and give me a, some deception checks, because you guys are being <laughs> little weirdos right now. Uh, that's a 29. <laughs> Holy shit. That'll Damn. do it. <laughs> all right. Well, well uh, the female dwarf's like, oh, all right, well... Um, I, I do apologize. We haven't seen noblemen come around here before. Uh, well, come on over here. Um, I should look over at the chess board for a second. He's clocking this guy. Is he like security? What is this? Uh, you're looking at a, at a droid who's staring over. She'll take note that you're looking at this droid and says, uh, oh, this, uh, this is my, uh, store droid. Uh, recently we got some maintenance done on it. It's been doing a, a bit of wonders. Uh, actually, now that I think of it. Uh, this is probably going to be the best, uh, one of the best, uh, purchases you can make. I was looking to, to get a, a, a better model droid, but, uh, recently we had this, uh, this fixed. It's oh, for sale so if you're interested. 
And how much would this be going for sale for? Mm, she's looking over cool. at the... She's like, well, with all the parts that we placed in here, mm, 7,500 credits, I'd, uh, I'd say, I'd wager. Mm. 7,500 credits for Is this that the right most, here. most expensive thing, you think? Uh, well, we did have some good scrolls and things, but that was recently bought out by uh, another group of sorts. Would you mind if I take a closer look at it? Oh, you're free to I am quite intrigued. Ah, <laughs> many engineers have visited the shop. Absolutely, you're free to investigate it. Hey, what are these cool things? Oh, those are uh, those are very expensive potions. Oh, uh, that one Kid. over there is a uh, potion of supreme healing. Uh, currently, we're selling it now for about the... Calculated one second. Uh, 20,000 credits for that one. It'll, it'll, it'll get you righteous rain. Actually, I think that potion is probably the most expensive thing I have, now that I think about it. What? This little tiny drink? Absolutely. It'll help you out in a moment. The thing is, the bomb would have begun to inspect, because he got, like, permission, basically, to inspect this thing. So he is going <laughs> to start inspecting this droid. And by inspecting it, I mean he is going to be running his hand over parts of it and casting distort value on it. Okay. Go ahead and, and uh, cast the spell and let me know what we're thinking. Uh, I don't know why it's putting out a thing for this. Sorry, it's like trying to make me place a AoE even though it's not an AoE spell. Just drop it and we'll to... more remove the AoE. Okay. All right, awesome. Uh, so, distort value at fifth level. Uh, you cast a spell of an object more than one foot aside, uh, no more than one foot on a side, doubling at higher levels. It goes up to five by five. Feet. Ah, gotcha. Understood. Yes, and you're casting, casting at fifth level. level. Oh. I understand now. Okay. So as you, you cast that, uh, da, 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 perceiving its value, adding there, uh, anyone examining the object can ascertain its true value with a successful intelligence. Check. So what are you trying? Are you, are you, what the is bomb's this? basically creating flaws that perhaps they may have missed or believed they missed when he will now point it out again and be like, well, it has these rusty Unders joints. Understood. Understood. So obviously yeah, obviously would, you know, reduce its value by quite a bit. As she's and look at this crack on the glass. You'd have to squint to see it, but it is there. And all of these things add up. So she's looking over at the potions over here and she's like checking off everything as she's 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 Am I allowed to pick stuff. these up? Uh no, you're you're not allowed to, to pick those up. I want are you allowed to? Maybe? I, I'm allowed to, yes. It's it's just my way. Pick one up and sort of ding it with your finger, because you know the noise they make is imperative on the quality. I'm, I'm I'm not going to do that. The fluid in there is worth probably what most farmers will make in a lifetime. Uh, are you satisfied with the uh, droid over there? Well, I'm satisfied, aside from, well, a couple of unfortunate oversights, it seems, that perhaps were missed during maintenance. I don't know who you had repairing this droid, but have you noticed its knees? What? Its poor knees. Listen to the squeak they make when you bend the knees of the droid. She looks over at this, and she sees it, and she's like, oh, That's unusual. Uh, how could we have missed that? These kinds of things can happen. Every once in a while. Mm, the engineer I worked with seemed to be of high caliber. Well, perhaps they were simply some kind of scumbag deceiver attempting to rip you off. Mm -hmm. It's a damn shame. Go ahead and make a deception. The things people will do. Uh, make a deception check, but go ahead and roll at advantage. <laughs> you got it. 19. And I'm going to add a d4 with my uh, talisman. Absolutely. Okay. So that's going to be a 23. Okay. Uh, so as she's looking about and just kind of like looking at everything, she sighs a little bit and said, uh, oh, Eli, you were, you were too good to be true. I thought you were a, an engineer of your salt. And apparently you've missed something so simple. Oh, that's a real shame. She looks down. <sighs> well, then, I do apologize for this. 
Uh, we thought we did it start some good things and we, upon this droid, but it seems there needs to be more work than, than necessary. Uh, I worked with an engineer, and goes by the name Eli, I believe. Uh, he worked with me through the night to get everything done, and I could have sworn this was up to perfection, but uh, there seems to miss some spot. I'm well, very surprised to have missed this. I do know an extremely talented engineer who'd be able to fix up these mistakes, no problem. Mm. I'd be happy to purchase this at a discounted rate and take it off of your hands because, well... Frankly, I feel like having it repaired for you now would be a little expensive. Mm. She's looking over. Well, what what price were you thinking? Honestly, this thing's been causing me so so much trouble. I'm I'm ready to be rid of it. Hmm. What was its rate before? Uh, seventy five hundred with the the I, the parts inside is actually immaculate. We've done a couple of upgrades, and aside from the rusted joints and all the impurities that you pointed out, I, I do still believe that it has a, a solid system from within. I'd be willing to lower the price to let's say six thousand. Six thousand. I'd be willing to settle for half, and I can come bring the money by later on this week. Half the price? Are you talking of the 7,500? 7,500, cut it in half. Oh, dear. Uh, well, the, the problem with that is the parts that are within it is are, uh, are, are, are of, of, of considerable value, even if the impurities are not. Uh, well, then perhaps we can discuss the interior parts and simply rip this thing to shreds, I think. Oh, I would appreciate the innards more than the exterior at this point, given, well, the state of it. That's fair. It's probably retired this droid anyways. You, have you taken a potion? She says as she stares over at uh, Drask. No, I don't know if they're good because you won't tap them. No, 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 no. Did you steal something from me like the little rodent did? To make a point. A rat stole from you? A little, a little uh, guy. Uh, Cavus, I believe. A rat has a name. I didn't know rats could carry potions. No, he, 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 he showed me one for. That was for certain. Well, tell you what. I still need someone to protect the store. So, if you're fine with it, uh, give me a week. And if you're interested, uh, I can sell you the central CPU components of the droid for uh, 4000 I can't go a credit more, as that would be the market value. And then I'll just be losing out on so much money. And I've lost out already uh, of this droid. The bomb has no basis for the value of that central CPU unit, but he does know the numbers. He he, know, he, he knows the value <laughs> monetarily, but not its actual like mechanical yeah. value, value to any of us as living beings. But he'll nod... That sounds agreeable. Thank you for being so understanding. I, I do apologize. I wasn't trying to pull a fast one on you. I just genuinely believed the droid had been refurbished to such a high state. But now that you're pointing out these impurities, it's a real shame that this was missed before. Mm, anybody can be scammed by an amateur engineer. It's okay. <sighs> shame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, were, he was such a nice lad, too. Maybe he wasn't as clever as I thought he was. Of course not. Mm. Yeah, it's just a... It's just a damn shame as well, because, uh... Well... Ah, it's nothing. M m m what do you mean? Well, that, um... Last I checked, that there... Eli... I've heard of him before, matter of fact... I am quite aware that he is... On the run with a bloodthirsty murderer detective at what? the very moment. And what? Well, what? Honestly, I don't even know if you would want to have a oh, that's right. droid he's, he's created that by him guy. just sitting in your store like this. It's actually probably, I mean, if God knows if, well, one of the, uh, the, one of the victims or the victim's family found out that a droid related to Logan was in here. Is this droid like contraband now, do you think? A detective? Hey. And then she'll look over at the, at the chessboard. 
And she says, I remember a man with him, uh, with an overcoat, and uh, I, he had a, he was, had a very quiet air about him. Uh, he was also with hmm, a strange ragtag group of folks. But there was the Cavis bounty hunter, of course. And then there was this strange young man. Uh, bought a scroll from me. Seemed to be a, ca uh, a, a very uh, competent spellcaster. You're saying they're on the run. Yes. For some frankly unspeakable crimes. Oh no. She starts to think quietly to herself. Oh dear. There was a murder that took place or about let me check the calendar. There was a couple of guards that were murdered by the bookstore near door, ne next door. Could do you think? Well, who knows? It's a crazy world out there. Well, that's what that happened last week. I haven't seen anything of them since. You wouldn't think that perhaps those bloodthirsty maniacs would come back here to pick up some of Eli's work, do you? To erase the evidence that they were here. Get rid of any paper trail. Go you may make... be in danger. Go ahead and make another deception check. Uh, again, an advantage. <laughs> You're doing great, 21. boys. 21. <laughs> I'm going to add another D4. Uh, 23. <laughs> well, then, if what you say is true, then I definitely need to make sure the droid is still there. Well, who knows if that droid would actually follow your orders if Eli were here. It may be more likely that it would simply walk up to you and just snap your neck. Don't you think? All right, let me, uh, I'm gonna do a fate roll for this. <laughs> Um, you're, you've given me much to think about. I could probably get the parts to you in a, a day or so. Does that sound good with you? The more expedited, the better would be wise for, well, your sake. Frankly. I, I hope you don't mind uh, my apologies, but due to the news that has come to light, I... Fear I must close up shop for the week. The week. Uh, you're free to stop by tomorrow. If you have the credits, I'll make sure you get the CPU unit. That sounds perfectly fine and understandable. But if I have I'm no... sorry if this has complicated your business. Ah, uh, well. These things happen. And you never know who will... cross your paths. So... Uh, but I do appreciate, uh, you've given me much to think about. Thank you for your, uh, your, 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 your kindness. Uh, what was your name again? Oh, uh, my name's, uh, uh, Tom. D uh, I'm Zug. <laughs> Tom and, That's sick. That's Tom, <laughs> Tom and, Tom and Zug. Very well, then. It is a pleasure to meet both of you. Uh, yes, come back here tomorrow. I will have the CPU ready. I'm afraid the shop will be closed for quite some time until we get a security droid and make sure things are underway. Meanwhile, I will have to make sure... I will inform the authorities of what has happened here. That would be wise. That is, unless you informing the authorities would, well, put a target on your back. I'm just... Speculating. You stay safe. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> She's quiet. She has to think about that. <laughs> She's Bye. like, "Yes, uh, good day." I... <laughs> and you hear the door locking behind you. I think that went well. I just realized I need. We need to like think of a fake name. You did good, but I think you, I just you fucked really my brother over. Did just pick. I don't. Zuck. I don't know names, and I didn't want to say my name, so I thought of, you know, another org name that I... And 
It could have been worse. You could have said Logan or something. That would have been funny. <laughs> All right. So you guys will uh, go ahead and leave the area, causing more chaos than you had already started. Excellent. Very good. Ain't we just little stinkers? Just little, <laughs> just all little stinkers. Uh, is, yeah. Okay. So, Bo. If, uh, are you back, Lena? No. I'm, I'm going to say no. So we will go back up here. To, give me one second and then we'll do bow here in a second uh meanwhile over at the spark peak uh felsic and zug you guys are going to cross over the smell of the frogs have kind of like wafted way over as the strange gentleman that was following you is going to stop at the bridge turn around and and head on back uh you're as you're crossing through these yards you'll pass by over a rather boisterous pub of uh folks enjoying uh enjoying the afternoon I'm just going to fast forward here a little bit. And uh, eventually, uh, yeah, you guys are going to arrive over at the uh, uh, over here. Uh, you're free to do as you wish. OK, now we're their cute little touristy shops. Uh, yes. Uh, once you arrive over here, you'll see a couple of uh, tiny little shops over here by the Spark Peak, specifically of, of little uh, areas of gro- uh, um, little knickknacks from Grow Rest. We should we should go to a gift shop. Okay. Um, yeah, we should get like like little like Europa like keychains and stuff. Shop over for, here. Like, I went to Europa and all I got was this cruddy shirt. Um. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Somebody okay. might like that. <laughs> cool. That's so awesome. Good idea. <laughs> do they? Do I? I'm looking for like. Okay, so you know what? Every gift shop they have like the shitty like little like uh like necklaces with like a fake yeah. plastic ivory shit on it like a like a little turtle or something mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. do they have like shitty little necklaces so you're gonna walk in and funny enough as you walk into the shop uh you will see which is kind of hilarious uh an orc uh and you could tell from the tools that he has on there that this orc is an artificer uh currently wearing a giant overcoat with a pistol over at his side uh, and these beautiful cufflinks kind of looks like he's a like a pirate captain just ripped out from there. And you'll walk in you know, to the, sh- the shop and you'll see it is a variety of knickknacks kind of scattered about over on the sides. Uh, a couple of tables uh, with little glass cases of different seashells and necklaces. And uh, yeah, even a couple of T-shirts that, that are just like Europa, but like in big, bold letters. Uh, you'll watch as the uh, as you walk in. The little bell dings over there. The fresh sea air kind of like brushing through. And the uh, orc will, will just stand there and say, Welcome to my shop. How can I help you today? Um, we're just looking. <laughs> just browsing. Just browsing. Well, you let me know if you need anything, all right? Dude, we should get matching necklaces. That would be so funny. Okay. Like what? I don't know. Like this one? I just point to some like random bead one. <laughs> <laughs> or that one? Yeah, like that one. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> I hand it to her. What is it? What is it? What I, is it? I, I'm leaving that up to you, buddy. Oh fuck! I don't know. Go on now. <laughs> what is it? What, what is, is the it? bracelet you p- or the necklace you picked? Come on. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. She she sort of like she thinks and she like. She like looks at them and she finds a necklace that has like a like a like a little a scallop on it, like a seashell. And she's <laughs> like, yo, this one kind of this one kind of makes me think of you. Cause like you got a sh- cause you're always got like a like a shell, like a helmet. You're like a scallop. Oh yeah. And you never yeah, really get yeah, out of get your it? shell. Yeah. What? Wait, <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> Well, you just you know, you, sometimes you bottle things up a little bit. Oh, she thousand yard stares. <laughs> we'll take two. Uh, you'll hear as as she says that he the the shopkeep butters to himself, shakes his head, and goes, "Oh, lad, <laughs> like, like like what are you doing, bro?" And then you just kind of walk up, hold there. And he's like, "You'll take two. and. Uh, 
the don't shop finalize the purchase yet. Before yeah. I pay, I'm just like looking back. <laughs> yeah, the shopkeeper's uh, making... also looking at Felsic right now. She's making eye contact with like the floor, <laughs> like the concrete. She looks a little distant now. <clears throat> um, um, one sec, one second, one second. Yeah. Right, I leave the necklaces on the counter and I go over to Felsic. Yeah, what's up? Are you still looking at the ground? D no, she looks up. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm having a great time. You want a different necklace? <laughs> no, 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 no. We should get. I think it would be cool if we had matching ones. Okay, yeah, but like, what about this one? What's what's that one? What is it? <laughs> Um, what is yeah, it? Yeah, what is yeah, it, what is man? It? This what one is, is it? Very expensive. <laughs> uh, there's only two in the whole shop. It's a uh, golden. Okay, no, inlays. no, no. Now be honest. All right. The honest answer it was like probably some really, really poorly made chain. <laughs> <laughs> that one's pretty cool. With, with, with a, did this by hand with a little little uh, grime and rust to it. It's got a little. It's, it looks like it's been worn. I think you could make a better one than that. Not not like I'm telling you to make a better one than that, but like I'm cool with the scallop. What? Like scallops what? are badass. Okay, you really like the scallop? Yeah, they've got like, have you ever seen they've got like little eyes on the sides of them? What? No way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh. So, so like, so they're not blind. They have eyes that stick out from the sides of their shells. They got like a bunch of them. They like can like stare That's in 360 it. degrees. It's incredible. It's impossible. There's no way. You gotta show me a scallop. Um, all right. Okay. Okay, yeah. And I hand the money to buy the necklace. Okay. Uh, he'll, he'll look over. <laughs> he said, uh, well, normally each of those are, are going to be about uh, five credits each, but we got a sale going on, he says with a smile. And you can get, uh, buy one, get one. So, five credits, please, for the two. I could just make one of these, couldn't I? <laughs> what? What are you doing? Oh, uh, what? Do Here. you want to pay? I, yeah, 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 I, I've got it. I don't know. Just I just kind of figured you never, like, like, uh, you never, like, want my money, so <laughs> I got it. She, put, she slaps out five credits on the counter. Here's the fucked up part. Uh, Zug has more money than you, Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> he slaps five credits on the counter. Yeah. She... I don't know, man. You just have like an issue with my money for some reason. What, what are you talking about? It's not an issue with your money. Shopkeep covers his mouth a little bit as he's watching. He's like, oh. It's not about. I'm paying for the necklaces, okay? Don't overthink it. Okay. Well, that was, uh, that's very kind of you, lass. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it? Looks at Zug. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Listen, it's not about, no, your money. It's that I don't, you know, don't need to do that. And we can, we can just have fun with, you know, not money, because... I'm not really used to having it, and every, you know, piece of it oh. matters. And I don't want you to spend money on me. <laughs> I'm good. I, I, I can make my way through life, making things and doing stuff, and not getting any help from anybody except my brother. And you know. Okay, a little light bulb goes off over her head. Okay, no, I get it. Uh, consider this like a treat, then. Okay. Maybe okay. you're not used to that kind of thing. Thank you. You want to go watch a movie? Let's go watch a movie. All right. You guys will continue your, your way over to the Grow Rest. Meanwhile, uh, over on the other side of the region, Bo is about to cross over this bridge to the, the Bobo restaurant that he would have heard about. B uh... B Bo's crossing the bridge. All right. Is there anything? What's what's Bo doing currently? Honestly, I think Bo's just like his head is in this fanfic, and he's just like rapidly drawing and just like kind of get it all on paper. Mm -hmm. But he knows that of this boba shop, so he's just like generally following his instincts. For okay. Boba. Okay. 
Uh, you'll arrive over here at this cafe as you kind of approach it. Uh, the shore is called uh, the Bubble Puddle. Uh, and oh. you will uh, see uh, that it's uh, that as you walk in, uh, the cafe itself seems really crowded as folks seem to be uh, going in there. Uh, you will there uh, watch as three goblin vendors, each of them wearing suspenders and and little and little dress shirts and pants, uh, it, quickly making drinks for everyone that requests it. Um. Okay, where's the? Hold on, where's the? Where's the door, DM? Where's the door? You just you, you, there's a door in front of you. You're free to walk yeah, in. You that, kind of see. Door? You you do whatever you want. You're okay. you're just standing uh, here, and that's Bolt what's kicks happening. Kicks the door open, and he he walks in. <laughs> look around. And... Uh, as you kick the door open, you'll hit someone that was drinking one of the bubble things, and it splashes on them. Hey, watch it! Bo instinctively uses his tiny little raccoon paws and wipes up the mess, and he just. Hey! Hey! hey. <laughs> This tiefling is looking down at you. And it's like, what's your deal? And then he just kind of like pushes you aside and then like leaves the cafe. Bo continues to walk in and sees the kind of like the mess going on with how like crazy it is. Oh yeah, everyone's like it orders here, there. There's a huge like looping line that's going all around over to the the front of the boba shop where it's like this cafe. Like I said, these three goblins are just each of them are making boba drinks. One of them's getting the credits. Everything's doing there. He walks up to the front and he kind of like hey! little hands. You'll see you, as you walk up to the front, you'll see the huge windy line you watch up and as a bunch of people are like, hey, you know, get the back of the line. What are you doing? He bangs on the counter. He's like, hey, 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 hey listen here. I, I uh, think I can help. Can I help, uh, you know, deliver these little you know, little doodads, everyone? I, I think that I can do something here. Uh, listen, man, you got to get to the back of the line and wait like everybody else. I, I, that can, I just, listen, I want to help. I love little, little, these little drinks and I just looks a little bit busy. We're, you, you, we're good. Some hands? We're good. Just wait in the back of the line and we'll get to you soon. Well, now okay. that I'm here, why don't I just order one? Adds another drink there. As you're screaming that in part there, you just start hearing the outrage of the crowd. Who's just like, come on, get in the back of the line. We've been waiting as long as you have. Come on. Bo looks around and he's like, Hey, but what if I just got one like real quick? No, you know? <laughs> oh, it, it's it's just fucking like, ground. Everyone is just <laughs> sort of losing their mind, and they're just like, "We've been waiting here the entire time." Go ahead, and make a persuasion check, please. Oh, that's a great idea. Okay, so if, uh, performance. Pers yep. Gr All cool. Right. All right. So as, as you kind of like roll over the eleven, you, you, you see the crowd has kind of gone from this like little talk there. You've got a pissed off guy because he kicked the door into someone. You've got the entire crowd just getting steamed at you because you crossed the line to be like, yeah, but I'm here, so just go ahead and get it. And he's you will then hear as one of the guys as they're prepping, um, he stops and he says, if you don't go, if you don't get to the back of the line or leave, we gotta call, we gotta call the press on you. Okay, you need to go ahead and be in the line, please. Or we'll ask you to leave. About how long do you think it would take to wait in this line? Do you I have mean, this it's, information? it's a it's a it's it's a long line. It'll be a while. Uh, Bo transforms. OK, all right. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> as you watch uh, as Bo transforms into this giant abomination, everyone starts screaming uh, at the top of their lungs as this monster has just randomly appeared in the middle of the cafe. Everyone starts to scatter and flee over at the area, including the goblin uh, brothers who are now hiding in the back. And one of them saying, call the call the prots, call the prots. In Listen, about a look. matter of minutes, the entire cafe is emptied. With, uh, hey, look at that. with the with the dropped various uh, cafe cups that scattered about uh, li liquid from the bubble, uh, the bubble tea that's just like scattered all across from everyone who's dropped it there. Uh, Bo uses his bite. He opens up his chest and he scoops up all of the remaining boba all from the floor and just puts it all inside. The goblins have now fled the cafe. He sees the remaining, like, cups that have not, like, spilled, and he grabs only three. He goes back into being Bo and leaves the boba shop. As you leave the shop, uh, you'll watch as uh, Prots start charging in past you, uh, hearing the disturbance that has happened over at the cafe. 
well played. Are, are they like around me or are they on their way? Oh, no, they're passing you because you reverted back to your your, oh. your store. They heard there was a disturbance and you're just kind of like walking past them. Bo's going to go back to where he like last saw everyone hanging out. All right. That'll be a matter of hours uh, as you have to cross <laughs> through the entire town. So now we return <laughs> back over to uh, the bomb and Drask. How many hours has it been since we uh, made our way over here? I mean, you, you guys are still over here. I would say it's been about, I mean, an hour that you guys have, have, have been doing your, your thing so far. Well, now what? Or a couple of hours, rather. I don't know. This kind of sucks because we don't have any money right now. Yeah, you know? I was kind of hoping we could get it for a cool free, but I guess it was a lot. I guess we shot a little high. Huh? Yeah, I didn't realize that thing was so expensive. These aren't even rich people. This is just a store area do we just keep looking around we could go to that uh is this building tall the estate building? the estate yeah absolutely is we go to the tall building rich people live in tall buildings you're right we go hassle the rich people and then we'll have some money now yeah i don't like waiting like, for things they don't like doing work and i can like lift something really heavy for them that they don't want to yeah. lift or something or you could yeah, just like good you could do your mind worm stuff and, you know, make them give no, us their no, no, money. No, no, we go. We follow your lead and I'll, I'll give you some help. Oh, I like that. Just don't put worms in me, okay? I'm not going to put worms in you. Why would Thank I do you. that? Uh, I'm not sure where the door is, but I'll, no, I'm all just going to circle this building till so I as, find as, the door. As you're walking down the street, you'll see various buildings that have built over this massive wall that is kind of like erected up over here. Um, as it's there, you, you'll you see uh, walking around a, a small gate with a little ringer that you can go ahead and go through there. Yeah, I'll go through. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll ring it if I have to. I don't know if it's locked or anything. <laughs> yeah, you'll see a gate there that kind of leads into like the inner garden area. This kind of like massive wall that's like built around this area. Um, as you ring the bell, uh, you'll hear kind of like this speaker voice from the other other side of there and they'll just be like yes how may i assist you what do you think i'm angled towards bomb um i mean you want to like sell them on your immense strength to do like hard labor right hey, are we allowed to go in or is this like not allowed <laughs> just like in there <laughs> do you have business with my master absolutely yeah yes Go ahead and give your names. I shall inform my master of your shit, arrival. Shit, shit, shit. God damn it. Uh, what's a good name? Uh, well, I don't know. I think the thing is that our names don't matter because his ma their master isn't going to recognize our names and thus they're not going to let us in. What if he does though? What if he had an appointment today and it was with two people and we give the you're right, right names? You're you right. Know? I'm going to go with Tom still. I'm kind of rolling that one and you're going to... Your name's going to be Tim, T Tom and Tim. We're okay. business partners. All right. That's better. I thought you were going to say brothers, and I don't think they would have bought that. We're almost the same color. I don't know. We're Tom and Tim. Yes. And your surnames, please. There are many Toms and Tims within the city. You've got to be kidding me. Ah, I think this yeah. is a sign that we might be on the list. They just need our last might name. Be. To make sure. Um. Uh, steel. The Steel <laughs> Brothers. Yes. Yeah. Shit, does that mean they think we're brothers? <laughs> yeah. Mom's gonna start clenching really hard and try to make a face that looks somewhat like <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yes, uh, one minute, please. If you don't mind waiting a uh, uh, minute. That's cool. As How do I look? <laughs> uh, I don't remember. Do you do a roll for this? Or is it just mm -hmm. you're just, been, you're we've, just been, we've always it. done it with uh, performance yeah. checks. But yep. uh, I'm assuming you're just being your slimy <laughs> self. <laughs> oh, no. You look great. Uh. Tomato, take it away. How did you botch <laughs> this up? I think it is his face, but it's as if 
it was all indented inwards into the bomb's face. Like, this isn't a face going outwards. It's like something, it's like the face got smushed into the skull. That's fucking Like it's reverse. <laughs> I can see it. I can fit right in there. The eye patch is even on, like, the right side. So if I put my face there, the eye patch is there, you know? Yes, we were born like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we both ate each other's eyes in the womb. <laughs> Exactly. Oh. Like sharks? <laughs> <laughs> this is taking a while. <laughs> I'm just, um, 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 um. Are people like walking by and like screaming? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no. I mean you're you're kind of that that strange something's wrong with you that, that people are looking. They're just kinda of like keeping their keeping their gaze away. I'm crying, dude. So you're like one of those optical illusions that they have at museums yeah. where like you walk past. Like as soon as you walk too far, you realize how <laughs> fucked up it is. But straight on, you're like, okay. As long as you look at the bomb straight on, there's nothing. <laughs> uh, it will be like you're always looking straight at them until then, though. Oh yeah, no, one, no everyone's not looking at you. You're causing uh, quite a scene in like this 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 sort of. It's it's not busy enough, but it's semi busy, and you're just kind of like, what the hell is going on here? As as folks are looking around, um, you will, <laughs> Jesus Christ, uh, there uh, you will finally hear this kind of shh, shh from above uh, as there is a camera now looking directly over at you. I'm looking at it. Uh... So is the bomb. Oh God, I. I thumbs up. The bomb also thumbs up. <laughs> uh, okay. So, because I didn't expect you to be here, give me. Um, I just need one minute. Do you mind if we take a, a bathroom break? Yeah. Yeah. No good. problem. Yeah. Let's do let's that. Do it. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back.
And we're back. Sorry about that. I had to do a whole thing. It was really fun. Anyways, we uh, made it. We made it. We survived. So because <laughs> I had to do some checks and I was like, yep, 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 yep. OK, so you guys are Kurt oh. or some some. Yeah, I had to do some some checker Roonies. As you guys uh, are over here, you see the camera kind of like looking over and you see the camera just kind of moving over to where you guys are, just kind of like looking in your general direction, kind of staring back and forth. And you wait for a, a good period of time. Uh, meanwhile, everyone's doing their best not to look at the bomb. And uh, yeah, what are you guys doing while you're waiting? Hey, you know, let's not do this. You want to not do this? <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> well, Actually, I never mind. Put all, I put all the work into this whole look. <laughs> We might as well see it through. Yeah, let's let's go forward. I was just thinking it's taking a long time. It might not be worth it. You, you think they may be like getting ready to open the door and gun us down or something? They might be getting all the heavies to Freddy. Ooh, you see, that was the thing as well. I was fine to sign you up for labor, you know, heavy, long, just lifting. I was kind of also hoping we could skip that and maybe just get some money and leave without doing all that process. Just talk to them, say we'll lift the heavy stuff and then say get we'll the money lift it, and land. get paid in advance and then run. Mm. Okay. Excuse me, Steel Brothers, are you still there? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, my master has permitted you an audience. Where are they? Uh, my master has informed, uh, requested that, uh, you are free to enter the estate, uh, to visit with my master. However, uh, has requested that you take no hostile action. In fact, if there's a location where you can store any weapons that you may have available in a different location, uh, that would be appreciated. Well, um... Do you have, like, a safe trash can or, like, a locker? If you wish to hand your weapons to me, we will make sure that it is properly stored. It's fine. I can just have Mito wait outside. With oh, that's been a good idea. <laughs> of course, Mido, right here. Yeah, yes, the Mido, oh, that's Mido. been here and rolled. This like speaks like a weird, strange character. No, I'm kidding. Yes, we can address <laughs> what Mido this is if we ever need to use them. If we ever need to use it, that is correct. <laughs> Just simplifies these sessions so much. Sure does. Uh, if you are interested, I can store your weapons for you. Entirely up to you, though. I know that a uh, warrior's arms are most important. Oh, it's yeah. fine. My, uh, my, my wee lad will hang on to our weapons for us out of here. His child, my, so you're my brother, so that would be my Please get nephew? This right. Yes. My cousin, no. No. Is it my nephew? I do, I, maybe. Might be my cousin. I understand whatever you need. We'll leave it with my son. Our son. <laughs> Yo, aren't you brothers? And you ship anyways. Um, yes, wrong? that's fine. None. <laughs> <laughs> um, one moment, please. I shall escort you inside the estate. So, um. I love how everyone's just like, oh my god, how enlightening. They, they said they were brothers, guys, so that's not... <laughs> this isn't brave of them. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, so, uh, one moment. I just need to make sure this is all squared away here. Mm, do a nice little... I'll check that. Check that. Check that. Okay. Uh, you will watch as an elderly uh, gentleman will approach over to the gate, uh, lightly opening. Uh, he seems to be more mustache than man. This big walrus-like white mustache hangs down his uh, face, framing it perfectly uh, before he uh, is just like, uh, you, you may come in uh, and enter uh, my master's manor. Thank you. Mm, yes, mm. thank you. Of course. You will be my master's first, uh, be his first guest. Ever? No, if he, he, well, actually, uh, my understanding, this was an estate he recently acquired. So, oh. yes, the first, first, his first guest here at the manor. What okay. an honor. All right. 
And because of this, I will have to take you to a new map. Oh, boy, as, oh boy we're really going places. <laughs> <laughs> as you, uh, as you all would arrive within uh, the mass, the uh, the 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 servant of this master will kind of bow and and let you know as you kind of enter the foyer and say, uh, "Please wait here just a moment. Uh, my master should be down shortly." And he's going to go ahead and walk away. All right. So I'm kind of nervous. I said we're yeah. going to get an audience. Like, how many people do you think? I can't believe we managed to pick the exact names required to get in here. <laughs> I mean, it's like I said. I know. Everybody maybe. has like a a meeting they're waiting for. You just got to say the right names. There's always that tiny, tiny chance that you get it right. And I guess we just keep on nailing it every time. Mm. Inside the manor, you will see uh, this place seems to either have been recently refurbished or has been uh, built as it is. It has that new feel. You know what I mean? Uh, mm. Old statues kind of stand and decorate the area as the uh, yeah the tile itself uh, re- resonates from every footstep you take crossing into this open area. And then you will hear the footsteps from um, across the way. What you could only assume uh, would be this uh this master uh that they were talking that the uh that this that the servant was talking about and there you will see a face that was unexpected to you crossing on its way the outfit is different but the Whoa. face of Talon will step forward Whoa. as they walk head over there, <laughs> decorated, oh, gotta be kidding me. Deco- <laughs> decorated in this huge sort of like plush coat, stepping forward, uh, 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 a quiet smirk across their face as they're stepping in. And they'll just say, interesting seeing you here in Europa. Interesting seeing you here in this building. Right now. Yeah. This isn't a surprise. This isn't a surprise to me. This is my building, my mansion. I own this. But what are you doing here? Um, well, we were, um, do we honestly, go forward with the plan or? I don't this think, is kind of... I think the plan is off, Drask. <laughs> you, I you... think you know why we're here. You know why we're here. <laughs> He holds his hands out and he says, I'm not interested in any confrontation or fight. My brothers, maybe, but not I. In fact, I was hoping just to retire here. And uh, as he's standing there, you see a little movement within his his coat. As a little hedgehog will creep out from underneath the coat onto over on down his arms onto his hand. What are you kidding me right now? You're also the hedgehog guy. What do you mean the hedgehog guy? Why do you have that hedgehog? I bought it at the Osmo station while my, this mansion was being prepared. Why Draft are you looking? Can you believe this shit? <laughs> I know why we're here now. I know why we're here now. He looks over at you. <laughs> it's, I, it, but you don't know where. Okay, it, it, it's fine. It's. Are you hungry? Would you like something to eat? Maybe we can have a polite conversation for once. Fine, I could use something to eat. What about you? Yeah, I'll eat your food for free. Yeah, and I'll also get rid of this horrible disguise that obviously doesn't matter. Yes, I was going to ask about that. I thought it it was good. I thought you were going through some strange mitosis. No, it's fine. It's painful. The hedgehog will kind of... The hedgehog will scurry up over on the fur that's wrapped around uh, Talon's Talon's area. And he's like, I'm sure there's a lot of questions you may have, and I'm honestly happy to answer them for you. Just if we can just be calm for one meal, one meeting. Would that suffice? The door's right over there if you don't feel trust. If you don't trust any of this, you're free to leave. The bomb is going to insight check. Go for it. That's a three. Well, all right. That's nothing. Nothing more can be discerned with that insight. I am hungry. Yeah, I mean, I I said I'll go. I ain't a takey backsies kind of guy. Right this way, then. 
and it'll turn around and head over to this rather large mess hall where it seems a, a a meal has been made. Uh-huh. We're taking that fucking hedgehog, no matter yeah, what. Yeah, we're not leaving. We don't leave this place without that hedgehog. All right, we're on the same page. All right. Yeah. Is that a pig? Absolutely. Oh. Uh, hold on one moment. And I have so many windows open. I do apologize. Let's see. Uh, here we go. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, Percival made it. Made the pig. Well, didn't manifest the pig, if that's what you were saying. But no, uh, uh, cooked it for me. Where did the pig come from? You know, someone had to make the pig. Imported, I believe. I think there's some farms around here over in Europa. But Hold anyway, on, wait. There, I'm I'm in my head right now. Where did the first pig come from? There's a lot going on now that I brought this up. <laughs> we don't have time to deconstruct every single source and origin of every food. I'm sorry. I'm eat. sorry. We're here for something else. Right. Uh, first of all, please. Why are you here? Ah. Uh, and retiring. Y- yes. Well. It's not all good news for you. Don't, no need to worry. You see, after our encounter over at the, uh, over at the, that, that power station where we witnessed the, the birth of an avatar of Hecaton, uh, we realized that there was a lot to, missing within our lives. Uh, us, me, I don't even know how to classify it. Uh, we worshipped Hecaton, uh, as a god, as an influencer, it gave, a, it gave us meaning. This influence of this, this powerful being. Uh, mm-hmm. We were maddened by it, worshipped, but it, more importantly, it gave us purpose. And so, studying a bit of the ancient magics and, and rituals that Ionians go through, I believe they call it the memory, uh, we realized that we didn't have a history. We barely had a story. We were subjugated by a god who wanted nothing more but absolute servitude. Of course, this left us very conflicted. Many different feelings. I wasn't certain if it was because of those that had fallen to our wake, those that we've absorbed in, but we were in conflict internally struggling Mm -hmm. and so we decided to cease that conflict so what you're telling me is that you had a parasocial relationship with this influencer Hecaton (laughs) and opted to instead listen to the things I've been talking about (laughs) since the very start, and it sounds like you're taking credit for figuring that out all on your lonesomes, despite the fact I've been yelling about it for months. No, I mean... Autonomy. I... I did. The others, not so much. Well, I'm happy for you, I guess. (laughs) We... We were able to uh, successfully... Hold on, I need to get one little note, because I have to remember what they they were called. We were allied with an an alien race known as the the Doramites. They've perfected and experted in simulacrum and cloning technology. And Talon, the individual you had met before, became... 12, or or 13, rather. And I am one of them. We split our consciousness between 13 uh, separate simulacrum, so that we meet each have individual personalities and experience the lives that we wanted to, the way that we saw it. And sure, there are other talons that are still out there, worshipping and following Hecaton, but me, well... I had enough with it. I think he's quiet for a moment as he pauses and he just goes, I, I couldn't do it anymore. The, yeah, the, it sounds like an awful lot. The cost of lives were too great for something that clearly had no interest in, in our livelihood. And so I separated from the rest of them. 
I believe, too, may still be here on the planet, although I haven't heard from them for quite some time. Probably got themselves killed by now. I go by the name Eight now. Eight. Like the number? There were 13 of us, and we figured the best way to identify each and every one of us was our name, Talon, and the number that we were created. I am the Eighth. You should get, like, a real name. Just come up with one. I learned how to do it today. I mean, I'm perfectly fine with it. Uh, other than you two, of course, I really wasn't expecting to entertain or, or have guests. Mm. Well, look here, Aid. I am happy that you seem to have figured out your shit. And frankly, I'm not too interested in starting a big tussle here about stuff that happened that it seems, at least to me, you are regretful for. However... We can both agree that you did deeply complicate shit for us, mm. my gang of nitwits, quite a bit. And I feel like, you know, an apology may be in order. And you have something that I think would be deeply important to us. Well, then I'll say it. I apologize for the grievances. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. I don't really care about a verbal apology. Yeah, I want the oh, hedgehog. Shit. You want the help. hedgehog. You big, what? <laughs> he looks we want the hedgehog. The hedgehog. <laughs> like, this is like eating a little piece of meat. Should I ask why you're interested in the... It's a whole thing. Uh, <sighs> if Bo doesn't have that, then frankly, there is no doubt in my mind that at some point in the next three days, they will knock the door to your manor down and tear you limb from limb in this room. Yeah, oh, for sure. We were looking to kill the guy who bought the hedgehog, and it turns out that's you. Yes, this is the cleanest possible way this goes, and I don't want that to sound like a threat, but I do need to be clear that we can barely control Bo as it is. I... I won't dig further. If your business is your own. I'll miss the little fella. I appreciated the company, but if... Hey, we found out there's at least one more that exists, so... You can go yeah, find that I'm one. I'm sure and... you can find another. It's not about what exists and what doesn't. Of course, there's oh, plenty of... Oh, for Bo it does. Bo wants this hedgehog. No, I... I it's that, weird. That's what I'm saying, is 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 that you, you grow attached to things. But uh, this will make amends if I give you the hedgehog. You will definitely never hear from us ever again. Unless it's a freak random chance like this that we truly have no control yeah we weren't actually we were just trying to rob we were some honestly rich fuck here out of to money. scam you <laughs> but we didn't know it was you I, you need money credits well not That's, really it was more just for the i mean money's always money. cool too money but is the cool, hedgehog right. is the hedgehog the unnegotiable is that the right word unnegotiable non-negotiable non -negotiable. Non-negotiable. It's it's fine. It's a simple request, and for everything that we, I, have done, then so be it. If that will make amends, and you can accept my apology with it, then the hedgehog goes with you. I've, I've only had it for a short period of time anyways. I, I'm sure I will find another. That's that, the spirit. And then he's gonna... Handed over to Drask. Oh, cool. It's cute. Uh, uh, Can we finish eating? I don't want to go here. I'm. I am hungry. No, it, please uh, help yourself. I um. One word of advice, warning. I'm not interested in this fight that Ekaton seems to have started with mortality. I don't want to be a part of it. I have no interest in it. And I'm hoping to live the rest of my days here. From my understanding, when it came to the cloning process, I got the short straw. My life expectancy is to be very low. So I'm hoping to live the rest of my days here, where I can then pass on in peace. Okay. Well, we're going to kill right. that guy. So as long as you stay off his side, you might be fine. As long as you yeah. don't fuck us over, you know? I, I have no interest in it, but my brothers may not have share in my same sympathy in fact many have become more unhinged now that individuals such as myself has stopped holding them back uh, a word of caution a word of advice you may not find another talon like me 
it is best to assume that any other town you encounter may be just as ruthless, if not more, than you remembered. Be careful. Well, that's fine, because honestly, that's what we were mostly expecting. So this is really the this is the weird one. No offense to you, but you are the weird one. He, yeah. he pours a glass of wine and says, none, take it. I understand it. If you are to be in town and you ever do need assistance, uh, the hedgehog, of course, I'm sure will patch ways. But if there is ever anything more that you need, uh, I would be happy to assist. Uh, we'll, it will help make amends for the mm -hmm. pain I've We do have you. one other thing. You know some guy named Kem? Kem. <laughs> yeah, looking for a guy named Kem. I have never heard of the name personally, but if I find something and you happen to be in the area, I can let you know. All right, well, don't worry about it too much. Uh, just kind of spitballing there. Mm, of course. We're going to go now. Yeah, um, thank you for the food. Take a plate with you for food. You see... And then he just kind of like looks the reflection in his mirror at the water because he expects to see the talon face, but he forgets that this is Hero's face. And he just he feels awful. And he says, you can tell the others or keep this to yourself, however you wish to handle it. But do let others know that I am truly sorry for what I've done. God, stop being such a bummer. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot. But yeah, we got it. Hey, can I have the rest of the pig? Help yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna pick it up by one of the legs and just carry it out. Alright. Keep on keeping it real, eight. Thanks for the hedgehog. Hmm. And you all will head out? Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Damn, we're good, Drag. What the hell? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, okay, okay. Are we, like, the best? I think so. You want the fuck? You want? You know what the funny thing is? What? Look who's what? coming around the corner right now, baby! <laughs> oh. uh, I'm gonna keep my hands behind my back as we see him. All right. He's still like Bo. holding the three like boba in his hands the best he can. I got a surprise for you. Hey, Tootsies. Hey, what's uh, what's uh, going on? Hey, nice to run into uh, you. He's gonna take his hand from behind his back and hold up a pig. Oh shit! Wait, no. <laughs> hey, that's uh, kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. pull out the hedgehog with my other hand. <laughs> Bo drops a boba, and it just it's, it spills all over the fucking floor. And he just stands there. He honestly just doesn't even fucking move. There's zero reaction at this point. He's he's frozen. Oh, oh like, fuck. I think we killed him. him. Oh! Well, oh. Probably... Uh. Bo? 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 Wait, what What did Bo do? Bo's just Bo's frozen. frozen. Like, oh. they're just not moving. Ah, gotcha. I'm gonna... Uh, should I, like, pick him up and... Take him with us, so he's not I just dead here. I guess we just take them with us, and maybe they'll recover Shit. later. Shit, I thought well, he would be happy and not die. Well, while frozen, let's go back to this then. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> where'd the shield come from, Felsic? I don't know. I was gonna ask. I think I accidentally turned it on, but I don't know how. <laughs> it's because you're guarded. No, I understand. Yeah, it's because she she has her guard up. That's why. Yeah, yeah hold on. Yes. There you go. Aw, holy shield, huh? All right. Yep. Anyways. All right. So uh, the two of you, uh, unless you go anywhere else, will arrive over at the grow rest. Moopy. Moopy. You'll kind of like go over there. You'll see a couple of uh, fences up that you're able to walk around as a big, huge, like uh, sort of like improvised screen of these giant, um, these giant sheets kind of stretch itself across certain areas of the, the botanics uh, fields. Uh, there, they're showcasing typically about three movies or so a day that kind of switches around, um, allowing you to stay and watch whatever's being showed. What are you what all are doing? You good. Who me? 
Yeah, sorry. I was, I was, I, yeah, no, I had, I was, I was, I, getting, got it. I, I was gassy, so I was dying. <laughs> but hey, yeah. thanks for pointing it out, Junie. Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just heard you like struggling to get the words out. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I was gassy, but thank you. Yeah. Hey, uh, Sug, are you good for just like sitting on the ground? I didn't know this was like one of the things where you were supposed to bring like a beach towel or like a fold out or whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna prod around and find a good a good patch. Yeah, what, you'll what? see that even though it's a film festival, it's not super crowded. It's very low key as people are kind of like gathering oh, around watching. Oh yeah, what's watching. the crowd like? Is it like are they like all hipster types or is this like more of like a like a Coachella event? Oh my god, yeah. So definitely a lot of hipsters just kind of like hanging around doing their own things. But you know, a couple of normies that are spending their their day <laughs> rested a little bit. The you normies. know, well, a couple yeah, of normies. normies. <laughs> Fuck, the normies are out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, she's going to sit down uh, in a nice nice little grassy patch and pat a little spot next to her and chill out. Which movie were you interested in seeing? Um, or are you just kind of sitting wherever? Oh, uh, I know we came for the cheese space documentary, but she wants to see the Div one, too, because okay. she wants to learn more about Div. Which one would you like to see first? Or would you like to flip a coin? No, I don't. Sam's just care. sitting there smiling. Oh, he he got nothing going on. Uh, all right, I'll just roll a one d two. Uh, one is she. Okay, we watch she first. All right. Uh, so you'll spend the next couple of hours sitting there um, as the documentary goes into the chi space. Uh, you will see uh, a lot of the film that's being documented is uh, specifically on an Ionian space vessel. Uh, that's kind of circling around the borders of the Chi space. Uh, there, you will actually get a look, good look at what the planet looks like. This thing, this thing essentially looks like a giant hollowed out planet, almost as if its entire center had been carved out for some time. It's got like this huge, like, um, like land barrier that sort of covers over the core of the planet. Um, there, you kind of see like the sting, like the the. You kind of see like acidic waters that are that that are uh, scattered about these li little acidic lakes, um, and the planet itself seems to be almost oval-like in shape, but it definitely looks like a massive hive. Um, mm -hmm. There, you'll also see uh, a variety of different sort of like almost like aurora borealis effects uh, that are kind of like these northern lights that are kind of like scattered across the planet. Um, and you'll see rocks that are kind of like leaving from that. And it's, and since it's like documentary style, you'll hear like, you know, the voice of the, of the camera guy and the camera's very shaky as you're looking at the Ionian general. And he's like, uh, what is that? Why are the rocks shooting there? And the general is like, um, that's the way the Chi will leave onto the planet. They'll actually use husks of the planet itself as ships, uh, for essentially one-way trips uh, one-way trips general every chi soldier that has a mission assigned to them is under the assumption that they are never going to come back they will die what they're doing what their queen has commanded them to do or their hive mother or their leader we don't know too much about the chi all we know is that they are an especially warlike and, and violent um alien race uh, that will do everything in its power to assimilate, annihilate, and destroy. And then everyone's like, oh, man, oh, okay. Celtic whispers, that's badass. <laughs> and then you'll kind of like, as 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 you watch, like the, 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 the camera kind of like jerks around a little bit, it'll open up into this lab uh, where you, you see the camera like looking down and he says, do you want to warn your viewers before we show this here? The general mutter, and it's like, I think I think they, they can handle the truth. Uh, the, the documentary guy will do it. It's like, all right. And then as the camera moves up, you will actually see a chi, this sort of like almost praying mantis uh, like humanoid uh, with wings splayed out, its chest cavity completely opened with its bug-like eyes as, as it, it's, it's clearly there to like see what the organs and the various spots of this. And it's like, we don't know too much about the chi. 
uh, but everything that we've we've learned about them is an absolute marvel. Uh, how so, General? Well, uh, the way that they are grown and almost created, uh, the org itself suggests uh, not entirely a complex design. Everything has a place. There isn't a redundancy within them. These are born warriors uh, and created somehow. It means to suggest that the Chi may have a scientific mind to themselves. Uh, they don't rely on weapons such as cannons and, and mundane swords and shields, but in fact, their soldiers are the weapons of the Chi. And that's what makes Callisto a very dangerous place. Everyone we've sent to navigate this planet has never returned uh, because it is guarded so well. Just know that when you encounter a Chi, fight. Fight with everything that you have. And then you're going to just kind of watch as the, the the documentary sort of like continues on, where it's like, you know, we spotted various battlefields that was that was seen over here. And it, it's just various video, video of like ship ruined ships from where Chi had attacked itself. And it is. It, it just kind of like highlights the chi as this warrior uh like civilization and all they do all they know everything they have right there is just fight 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 and that's what makes them so terrifying i have a question yes. is it like a good documentary or is it like a history channel documentary <laughs> it's like it's it's so it it kind of has these lulls at some points in times where you're speaking to scientists and it does kind of feel a little like history channel like dramatized yeah it where bit, things yeah. get a little dramatized um but what really catches your guard as you're like watching through this movie is how it ends uh where the the they're, they're kind of like flying in space. You're talking to the same general. And then you're going to watch as these lights go off within the ship as an alarm, a proximity alarm goes off. And you'll hear from there, Chi uh, ships have just jumped into light. We've got, they're coming for us. Hurry. And it's like, all right, get down, get down. Pushes the documentary guy over there. As you, you'll see him like holding the camera. You begin to hear him like huffing as the sh these, sh these rock ships are beginning to uh, approach over uh, to where the ship is and start slowly starting to, to gather around the ship. More begin jumping around. All right, all right, we gotta go, we gotta go. And then you'll see as the, 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 as the general like lifts the documenter up who's holding like the camera over he's like get to the escape pod now he pushes you watch the camera falls on the ground he falls there as well he gets up as he's huffing and you can just hear the panic within the documentary guy's voice as he gets over into the escape pod the escape pod just just immediately launches out of the Ionian ship, and you'll just kind of watch he's like, oh, oh, as he moves the camera over to the outside of the escape pod, looking at the ship. You'll see all of these chi, like these, these, these just look like these rocks with these mounted, like old thrusters, kind of like pushing over as you watch as one of them will, will ignite and shoot directly into the Ionian ship as the ship just explodes in a flash of light. He just goes, holy shit, as he's like looking, trying to get the explosion. Um, it freezes the frame a couple of times as you'll actually see it as at the uh, camera having a hard time keeping track of it. Um, it'll cut and then for uh, a few out, you know, it'll show that how it is for a few hours, how the docu the documentary guy is just like stuck in this escape pod. Uh, until he sees an Ionian ship coming over to rescue him with a voiceover saying um, that was the last I had had studied for the Chi, uh, but I will always remember the bravery of 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 General Hallon and what he had done for me and the knowledge that he had imparted. And then it just like fades out to black and it just pops up with a sort of like and uh, start showing the credits. Felsic just stares at the credits like fucking stunned. <laughs> like eyes sparkling. Yeah. yeah, and it'll end Did with... those guys fucking die? <laughs> it ends with... I was trying to get attached to them at the end. They were like my favorite characters. In memory of General Haloon. <laughs> I think those were people, Zog. <laughs> Wait, that was real? <laughs> it's a documentary. Unless it was like, I mean... Like they could have like fabricated like a narrative for the documentary. 
But I think we watched those guys fucking kick it, dude. Wow. <laughs> you hear light claps within the audience like, oh, what a lovely movie. It was very informative as these hipsters are talking to each other. Dude, isn't it crazy that there's just like another civilization like in our solar system and we just like don't talk to those guys? We should talk to those guys. Maybe we should. Maybe we'd have a lot in common. I don't know. <laughs> Who's to say? <laughs> Meanwhile, returning Did back. Of snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, <What's this? laughs> returning back to Jasker Heights. Uh, there, you will still see a frozen uh, bow just standing there. Uh, bow. Bow blinks one of his eyes, and he grabs the hedgehog, and he does that like spinny thing where he's just like spinning him and the hedgehog just are spinning in circles like this like so happy together song is just like playing in his head he's just in his own fucking planet spinning with this hedgehog okay cool that means i could eat this now holds up the pig i was afraid i was gonna eat the hedgehog so i haven't been taking a bite of it because you know i mix my hands up i eat the pig take a bite out of it i mean yeah <laughs> eat the pig <laughs> the opens up mouth thing. consumes pig <laughs> Hey, uh, where'd you find this little fella? You wouldn't believe us if we did. <laughs> Actually, you uh, may, but uh, it's a long story. <laughs> but the short version is in that building. Thanks, dudes. I don't even know what to say. This little dude, he's, he's all I've been thinking about. He's finally here. Look at him. And he smushes him in Jas's face. Look at him. Hey, don't kill him now. It was a lot of, actually, it wasn't a lot of work to get him. It would have really been a easy. lot of work if it wasn't random chance. Yeah. That brought, the, almost as if it was destiny this brought, that this hedgehog was brought to you. Which means Bo you need to take extra good care of it. Bo, like, looks down and just, like, kind of makes a incision with his little claw. And he opens it. Opens and he gets what? some fur off of the top of his head and he shoves it in this little pouch. What are you talking and about? Hold on. You said incision. I need to know what you're doing to this hedgehog. What are you? No, no, me. Uh, Bo, uh, not the hedgehog. Bo. Oh. He's going to put him in his little pouch. Oh. His little skin pouch. Oh, ew. Ew. Yeah. Nasty. With the, with the fish goo? Yeah, with the fish goo. It's a little treat he could eat while he's in there, I guess. Don't eat that little guy. Oh. It's not good. You should like put it in another pouch. Just like make a side pouch. Probably. Well, I don't have shit pouch. in there. Uh, Bo takes out the fish and he puts it on the floor. <laughs> there, it's good now. Hey, should we find the other guys? I don't. I mean, also we, we need we money establish... for the other job. Yeah, I was hoping we could ask them about that. I was figuring if I told Zug about the CPU thing, he'd just start like frothing at the mouth or something. Mm. Want to pay for it? Okay. Oh, what are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? Right? He's, he's <laughs> struggling around all your items in this pouch right now, trying to figure out a comfortable place where he's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> Sticks out the pouch a little bit. Hey, little guy, look at that. Give him a little head pat. Eh? Hey, Thrasco, look at that. He's looking at you. He's looking at you. Staring at me. I think uh, he likes you. As you're staying there, you'll a couple will walk by over. And they'll say, do you hear what happened over that Boba place? Some sort of strange creature, like, erupted over there. Scared everyone off. Yeah, the uh -huh. Boba place is closed now. Did you get a good look at him? I didn't, but I heard they had a big, giant mouth in their torso. Huh, weird. Everyone will then notice the Boba tea that is scattered all across the floor underneath Bo. Hey, Bo, Bo looks you, down. Where, where, what did you do while we were yeah, gone? Where, what was going on with you? Uh, Bo picks up one little tapioca bubble and then another and then he like puts it into bomb and puts one in Drask's oh, mouth. Is this an eyeball? And he turns what around. Is... I think this is like a critter's eyeball. Well, I've eaten entire rodents before, so I don't really care. We just gave much. Bo a tiny critter though. If but whatever happens to this hedgehog is no longer our concern. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. I made a goddamn oath and I just fulfilled it. I'm done. Yeah. I'm handing in my badge. We did what we needed. 
Let's go find hey. the others. There's yeah, well, oh, yeah, yeah, this, yeah. This way, this way. Uh, are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, hey, come on. No, he's running across the area. Uh, well, we have nothing better to do. Uh, God, at, he's fast. As you guys are crossing over to the past the frogs, um, uh, Felsic and Zug. I'm assuming you're staying over for the uh, the next movie. Movie time. Eola, uh, this one seems like r- really cheaply made the uh, Div and Void documentary. As you kind of like watch this sort of like <laughs> this sort of like dusted temple, you could tell that the uh, the pillars that are there are made of like paper mache. As various uh, <laughs> people are meditating over there, and then they look up as a light shines over, and one of them says, "Ah." Oh, and you'll see this like woman walk down the stairs with this beautiful thing, you know, this this area, oh, the, this um, uh, like like uh, headpiece behind her. And she holds out her hands. It was not like that. And she is like, "I am here, my no. children. It is me, Div." And then you'll hear the documentary voice say, uh, "People are uncertain of how uh, Div was worshipped." The last instance of Div being an established religion uh, took place uh, over a thousand years ago in old uh, in old Alabaster, uh, ruled by uh, the All King Bron. And then it shows like <laughs> it an, like giggles. Oh, it's, <laughs> it, that's it, you, dude. <laughs> it, it shows like it. It shows like this weird painting of like this guy with a puffed up chat, like this puffed chest and this beautiful. Holy shit! Thing. That looks nothing like him. It looks nothing like him. <laughs> <laughs> Once Braun had established the old religion, it was said that Alabaster had found peace uh, with something that had been long since forgotten. As far as historical evidence shows, there has been, (laughs) this is the sad part, no other evidence that signifies the existence of a, of Div or Void, but it was believed to be worshipped once upon a time by old Ionians. But you're right here. Wait, really? Wait, I thought there, no, like there's gotta be more evidence of Div, right? Yeah, there's so much. So whatever happened? To all King Braun. You mean the immortal king? It's a common misconception. It's, it, it's, it's a common misconception that he was title was all king. He was known as the immortal King Braun, said to have never passed away. But where's Braun now? Said to have left his kingdom on a holy crusade and never returned. Were his bones found anywhere? No one knows of what happened to Braun. No evidence has ever been found of how he met his demise. Oh, he didn't. He didn't meet his demise. <laughs> Maybe he's still out there kicking somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, the documentary kind of like goes into a little bit about, you know, we have little evidence of David Void, but from the little that we do understand, uh, these were polar opposite deities uh, that were said to have ruled over old Io. We're uncertain if they were ever meant to be kings or queens that were assumed uh, to be gods. Um, but rest assured that these entities were powerful individuals uh, that had gained the influence of many. And then, yeah, it's a documentary that kind of goes into what old Alabaster uh, was like uh, being ruled by King Braun, that it was a time of peace and prosperity. It's when Alabaster sort of entered its golden age. Um, and since uh, his uh, since his departure, uh, Braun is still uh, known very heavily to this day as a, as the father of Alabaster uh, with a lot of its history. <laughs> God, and that's the fucked up part. I'm realizing it is that Alabaster has been around since the beginning of IO, 
but its only history was documented when Braun was the fucking king of it. Oh my yeah. God. You're welcome. <laughs> Put you on the map. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. So, so yeah, yeah, Alabaster, you know, not things really known of Alabaster before Braun's rule, but it was a time, it was a, a golden age of prosperity, and even though the kingdom had mourned, uh, the, uh, essentially the high pope of Div, the immortal king Braun, um, its practices were kept for another, if I say another hundred years or so before it had, had passed on to new gods, specifically once the Io, once Io was shattered, um, and the appearance of Sachi and the other gods, uh, made their presence known. Uh, there is, uh, he says, um, uncertain if this is actually true, but there was a story once, uh, where a priest of Div had spoken to Sachi directly. Uh, asking about the location of Div, or if Sachi had once upon a time been Div. Uh, it was uncertain the words that Sachi said, uh, but it was under the assumption <laughs> that Sachi dismissed Div right out, stating that they were the true gods of Io, and Div was nothing more than a fabrication. With these rumors, <laughs> with these rumors spread uh, easily, uh, it became uh, quickly associated uh, that Div and Void fell into memory, with only its uh, brief evidence shown in museums uh, upon the kingdoms of Alabaster. That is so fricked up. <laughs> I think as this documentary has been going, uh, I knew that person. <laughs> Wait. Wait, which one? Sorry. All of them? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, they just she... stole the whole god thing from that person. Uh, she makes fun of the documentary less and less and starts to sort of like, even though it's really interesting, she starts paying way less attention and sort of seems to like zone out for a bit. Wait, was that it? Is it over? I, I guess so. <gasps> The credits start rolling. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. I mean, I guess they did their best for the budget or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I could do better than that. Yeah, probably any with a any dumbass with a camera can do better than that. Am I a dumbass? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey. Do you want to know a secret? Yeah. I was kind of hoping I would have a terrible time. Why? Um, okay. <laughs> uh, because... She, she like, stopped smiling. Okay, like, you're right. It's the thing. You're right that I'm really in my shell. And I think maybe, uh, you should... Keep your distance from me. I know you're trying. I know you're doing your best, but there's a lot of shit that you don't know about me, Zug. Um, I don't know how to put this, but no. What? What do you mean, no? I'm, I'm not going to keep my distance. I mean, I, I said you had a shell, but it's kind of a pretty transparent one. No, Zug, I mean, like, there's shit that you don't know about me and that, like, nobody knows about me. Okay. Like, well, I, could, I could probably really fuck you up, dude. Maybe we could just talk about it. I don't know if that's a good idea, Zug. Why? Because I think your opinions, it's going to be lowered. Okay. All right, okay. So this is really fucked up. Just a heads up. Okay. No, it's fine. Um, you know. the, okay, so you know how I got kicked out of school, right? No. What? You, you didn't even tell me that. <laughs> oh much. my god, you don't know fucking anything about me. I just think you're neat. Uh, oh, okay. And um, fun and, you know, pretty badass and... I, Attractive. I, I, I don't know. Okay. So, all right. I was kicked out of school. I was expelled. Uh, and that's why I ended up working at the port. 
Oh shit, you don't know about that either. What's the part? That was when I learned how to talk to birds, Zug. What I learned how to talk to birds and shit because I was on the port. Remember Barry? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because <laughs> I talk, because I, all right. Because you talked to a lot of birds at the port. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. talked to birds at the port, but the reason I ended up there was because I got expelled uh, from school. Like, I, I was like a single child and like my parents had a lot of hopes in me. But uh, one day, this was like after school, uh, I, there was like a, a stray cat, right? And I watched this kid, like, like kick it. Like, bully it. Like, kicked it. He kicked the cat. It's fucked up. Yeah, right? That's what I thought. And uh, something in, like, it, everything was kind of blurry after that point. But I think I nearly killed the guy. I think oh I nearly God. killed him. And they kicked me out of school. And I had to, like, start over, like, minimum wage working at a port and shit. Um, but there was also, like, there was something about that event that I hadn't really thought about until I was a lot older. There were details around it that were really fuzzy. And one day, I figured out uh, that there wasn't a cat. There was never a cat. What? There wasn't ever so a cat. What was there? I don't I don't think there was anything, Zug. I think I just made up a reason. Huh. I think I just snapped. What what made you snap, do you think? I don't know. I don't know. Ever since I got like mauled? I feel like, not literally, but I feel like that owl bear left part of its soul on me. And sometimes, like, when I walk past a mirror, it startles me because I just see a normal person. And I'm expecting to see just like a really big fucked up creature. Hmm. It's like ponders. Kind of scratches his chin. So, like, you get it, right? Like, I have a complex, maybe. But also, I don't want to, like, lose it on you someday. Well, you haven't so far. Not yet. Well, maybe you just don't know the reason that you, you know... Lost I think I just day. wanted to beat someone up, and then I just made up a virtuous justification for it. Yeah, but I don't think you're going to have to worry about that ever again. Because hmm. we beat people up all the time. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> and you don't want to beat me up, do you? No. No. So? I don't know. I'm willing to take the risk. All right. She looks really nervous. She like drums her fingers like on her arms. Okay. Is that, that was the last movie, right? Yeah. Okay. Maybe we should go find our boys. Okay. As we get up, Zug gets up first and offers a hand to help her up. Oh, uh, thanks. And then keeps holding the hand as we walk. Oh. Yeah, she doesn't pull away. <laughs> Mm. Fan self. Slow burn. I'm loving it. <laughs> Fucking loving it. <laughs> I kept muted. Don't worry. I kept muted because the entire time I've been like, hurt, hurt, oh my god, hurt. <laughs> uh, as you guys are leaving, uh, you will, uh, before there, uh, find everyone else as they begin their approach over to you. I awkwardly unhold hands and pat my hand on my. Sup, Sup losers. <laughs> Sup, fuckers. How's it going? What's up, idiots? Fuck you, hey. idiot. Fuck you. What's, What's up? up? What's up? up? Oh. You would not believe the day we've had. Hey, we found Talon. <laughs> yep. Wait, I didn't know. Did, I guess we were going to tell you that part, too. You also found the hedgehog. 
Love that guy. Wait, what? 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 Yeah, it like, turns out Drask no, and I are super good it. at the two-man job thing. We figured everything out. Bo grabs both of their hands that they just awkwardly, very obviously unlatched, grabs them both, puts them in each other's hands, grabs the hedgehog, which is now stinky and disgusting, <laughs> and puts them right in the middle of their hands. What the fuck are you doing? Hey, look at this! Look at this! Look at the dude! The dude's here! Look at the dude! Hey! Hey! It's the dude! Con congratulations! This is awesome! This is... This was what we wanted. Yeah, that's a cool, cool guy. Hedgehog. I was like yes. taking out his little like paper and pen and like drawing both of them holding hands with the hedgehog in this very moment. Uh, uh, and the uh, best part was we didn't have to murder anyone for it. We didn't even throw a punch. Wait, really? Also, kind of a bummer. Zuck, there's a CPU that's probably worth a lot of money that I got you an, an immense deal on, but we have to pick it up tomorrow and it's uh, 4,000 credits. Yeah, do you guys have 4,000 credits? <laughs> on like I don't know what it's worth, but I can explain it. But well, I haven't even seen it yet. Listen, all right? Me and Drask move fast. I don't know how to... You two gotta keep up. All three of you, frankly. All of you. Uh, can I check it out? Maybe it's worth something. Store's closed today. Um, Store's closed because they think uh, they're gonna be killed. Yeah. What? what? <laughs> Not by us. <laughs> Not by us. Okay. It's a lot. We'll just go there. Anyways, tomorrow. while we <laughs> while we walk and talk, the bomb will explain everything that he and Drask did today. And so that guy's just hanging out in his house. Yeah, it's actually yeah. um, kind of wild that we managed to pick the exact house that they were in. What are the odds? You want and some we, pig? And we don't want to kill him. Oh, oh, Bo makes grabby hands for the pig. Um, also takes Hedgehog and says, that's enough for you two. Holds him tight and like, wants the pig meat. There you go. Hey, thanks, dude. I'll just give you the whole thing. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you can drag it on the floor. It's too big! <laughs> Bo like, picks at it and like, beefs like a little Little mama bird to the hedgehog. Here you go, little dude. This little, little guy. Just give it to little. Let's give it to him. But it's like his own planet with this ham and the hedgehog. Okay. So, uh, what now? Do we leave the planet? Or are we done here? No. Wait, no, 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 no. I mean, I don't know. Did you guys have like a good vacation day? Because we're going to have to get back to work. I think so. I thought it kicked ass. Wait, yeah, yeah, we kind of rock. What time is it? Yeah, it kind of kicked ass. Oh, there you late. are! The goblin <laughs> that you had sent is now walking no, over cool. to you, exasperated no. and drained. Everything comes together. Uh, <laughs> I went back. I went back over to the shop. You weren't there, so I just started running around until I would hopefully bump into you. I've been looking for you for hours now. Great. That cool. Anyways, um, what'd you find out? Uh, uh. So you're looking for a guy named Kem, right? Yeah. Uh. So apparently he does some business over here, but hasn't been here for a while. Uh, he apparently is uh, an, on an, a, a different island that's uh, uh, south from here. I, I managed to find the information from someone. Had to give him my life savings, but really wanted to figure <laughs> out where Kem was for some weird reason. Anyways, and then he's so he just like... He pulls out this like map. He's like, don't worry. I went ahead and got myself a map uh, with the remainder little credits that I did have over here. Smiles at you. Great. Cool. Let me uh, take a look at that. Yeah. So I'll point over at the map and specifically at a location known as Todrona. It's a small island with a little active volcano. Uh, apparently he's there somewhere he comes from there but we don't know exactly where uh, his hideout is but you know if you go over there i'm sure you can find someone that'll at least know you know where he's hiding or where he's coming from all right all right well um have a good life yeah oh uh, one thing though i was told because of the volcanic activity uh it interferes with a lot of shard communications so one of the safest way to get there unfortunately is by boat we're gonna have to figure that out, I'm afraid. I don't have right, a boat. Well, I don't have anything. I'm, yeah, I'm destitute. I'm poor. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's, uh, 
Something you're gonna have to figure out, I guess. It's been a Get pleasure. Get lost. Get lost. Hey, can we kill this dude? No. No. Ah, no. no. oh, okay. Not out in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'm gonna find an overpass or something. See ya. And then he turns around and walks away. <laughs> am I good or am I good? Wow. Nice work. That was wow. a good outcome. Okay. Yeah. Oof. Um, so we need a boat? We I still don't know how to get a, a descending boat, though. Mm. What about if we go this way to the... I saw a sign. It says, Raft Construction Offices. The boat's <laughs> like a big raft. <laughs> we gotta make it ourselves? Yeah. Well, I guess we'll find out how you'll get to Tor Todrona <laughs> on the next episode of Pipe Dreamers. Thank you guys so much for playing. Woo -woo 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 -woo. Cool. Cool. That was a great session. Our Wonderful. little baby's home. <laughs> I'm so got excited. A little guy. The family's yeah. all together. Uh huh. <laughs> oh yes. Um, did you guys have fun? Good, good, good role good play fun. session. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does Bo have any reason to continue living now that he's no. achieved his goal? <laughs> I, I yeah, Gotta no find reason at all. Goal. That is. The saddest fucking thing I've heard, but it's hey, fucking bleak, dude. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Or is that dude. amazing? Because I've fulfilled my life's prophecy <laughs> now. You know. Um, I'm gonna say no. That's um, pretty fucking sad. I'm just gonna. Say, just oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that you have no reason to live now that you have this. What the? Yeah. Your reason to live is now to keep the hedgehog alive. Yeah, keep the oh, hedgehog alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Please, I'm begging you. Don't make me kill that thing in a horrific way. I'm oh my god. I'm begging you. Please don't. Don't do it. All right. You guys, uh, no bingo today, but are you guys down for a little uh, little fan art? Hell yeah. Yay. Oh yeah. Fan art? That was a good session today, guys. Good work, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Good work, you. Yeah, I was like, if you guys explore an estate, you're going to fucking find it. Because he is. He's just... <laughs> He's I don't know how to... When did this ha did this happen? I yeah. Did. <laughs> oh, I not this that. week. That was last week, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't have any feet. Flexing his little footsies. Check out. That's so sad. <laughs> no feet to touch the grass with. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm just Ew. so fucking cool, dude. You're so cool. Yeah. You're, You're so, so cool. cool. God fucking. Damn. Here we go. Woohoo! Oh, I love oh. it. That's adorable. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Wait, am I dead? Are you wearing me like a scarf? <laughs> Hang on. Wait. Uh, you're saying like toots, you're so saying I think you're fine. Yeah. yeah, we're covered in like little wounds, though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, remember when you were just a little guy? <laughs> remember? I remember. <laughs> Yeah. Back in the day. The collection grows. Uh oh. oh. Let's see real quick. Uh da, 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 da. Maybe though. No. Oh whoa. 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 Everyone in chat who's like, are they gonna fucking kiss now? Enjoy the slow <laughs> burn, okay? Jeez, yeah. you gotta Pace yourself, okay? Does that feel like the right moment to kiss? Wrong. Yeah, no, come on. No. It's every moment is supposed to be a little God. little nugget of satisfaction. You don't want to like You just... can't play loose with fell stick or she'll cut your head off. That's true. <laughs> we just found that out today. That was fucking awesome. I love that. Brothers. Ooh, I like the yeah, mask. I got yeah. two brothers now. So I'm uh oh, yeah. I'm not gonna play this video due to copyright, but I will. You guys will probably be able to like tell, like what is happening here. No, I can cheer you up. Uh, oh, <laughs> no. I did see this. It's really good. <laughs> Actually, That's I have no really idea good. what this is. This is <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, somebody, somebody link Lena and Blah Man. It's, yeah, so, yeah, it's yeah, really uh, good. It, it, is, it is a smiling friends pipe dreamers shit post. Uh, <laughs> it, awesome though. Yeah, it's you got Zug, you got I you got Bo, you Zug got Toothy. One. That's really good. You got Toothy. <laughs> you got you got Toothy over there just hanging out, having a good time. Okay. So it, so it is. It's it's great. Hold on, let me get my let me get back to that spot. It's fucking badass. 
It's great. And then uh, here is the uh, animated <laughs> dancing toothy. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I hate it. I hate toothy. <laughs> All right, you hate, you hate Toothy. I but, hate Toothy. But what about Femzug? Woo! Yeah, you can get it. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Get that bag. <laughs> now, hang on a minute. Get that bag. Oh, Ooh. love it. Thank you, you Axis. New fan artist. You know I love that. <laughs> Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Uh, here's... Uh, Barbie meme. <laughs> I love that. He has no idea what's going on. <laughs> oh. God damn. God. God damn. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it looks about right. Yeah, that looks. <laughs> Blurbo. I was going to say that. Blurbo. Scrunglo. <laughs> Oh, rage get moment. fuck! <laughs> a little rage moment. Yeah. Is that the man? That's the man right there. That's the man, baby. That's the man, baby. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> Stop. Hey. Stop it. <laughs> Jesus. Stop it. Awful. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, Whoa. that's I'm pretty sweating. That's pretty Damn. cool, right? That's fucking badass. What if I told you there's one for each and every one of you? Stop. No shot. Stop. Fuck yeah, Boom. dude. Oh. Fuck yeah. Oh, oh, Jesus. So Terrifying. <laughs> psycho. Yeah, the lighting is great. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm howling. I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> um. Pass. Okay. <laughs> History repeats itself. Oh. Oh. Cute. Right. <laughs> nice. Yes, yes, Peter. Peter. Thank Not God. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh yes. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Trip can't fry rice. Tom. Looking. Oh. <laughs> I miss him. This one. That's cute. A little barbie. Oh, yeah. Barbie. Boobies. <laughs> Barbara. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that's so cute. what a freak. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus, you guys. Oh, jeez. Yeah, uh, Deadbeat's already encountered two of the talons. Oh. And you encountered one of them. <laughs> the hedgehog is non You guys are so good at negotiating. Holy Thanks. shit. Yeah. I'm proud of you guys. Bitchin'. Tavern. Baby boy. What are you loving? What are you thinking about? <laughs> Dude, you're a bit of a bummer. I love his expression. <laughs> Talon's expression. Mm. Oh. It's eating the meat. Michael gets oh. a treat. Hungry. Look at these cutie pies. Oh. She's so big. <laughs> what a good movie. <laughs> this is what. <laughs> oh my god, General Holen. Are we doing what? fan art of the fucking doc? Jesus. Very, <laughs> very Damn. cool. Uh, this is the full art, by the way, of, uh, oh, oh, oh I see, we got, wow. we got a little, uh, we got a little guy there, there now. Little... Please, so I didn't tell me. Oh, oh my god, I love him, look at his foot, can you zoom in on the foot real quick, just like the teeny tiny little foot that's sticking up, look at it. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wow. How Ryan, long before this it. fan art becomes trauma? <laughs> she would Stop. not fucking say that. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Of course, the fan <laughs> artist. Sit down. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> oh my god, is that a sink piss or original? <laughs> god, I. So no, this is so fucked up. I'm gonna throw it up. I'm gonna throw it up. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that might be one of my favorite pieces of art. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hard. Hard. Uh, Stop. Holy shit, stop. <laughs> yes. <It's> so good. <laughs> yes. Touches sand. Oh, Dyer. Dyer uh, made the token for oh. the orc lady, so... She got that's, gone. That's what she would look like with the full art. And then Dyer did this for, for Bo. Oh. Wow. Oh. I honestly can't thank you guys enough. I'm, I'm so fucking stoked. I, I love this. Good. <laughs> Big woman. They're so cute. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for playing. Uh, we'll be back next week, question mark? Yes? Okay. Yeah. Oh. All right. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no. Then, then for the session. Sorry, I'm going to be playing Baldur's Gate. Sorry. Stop it. Stop <laughs> it. I mean, God. I... <laughs> I will talk to you off stream because I may. I don't you know. You may have to say that. I, I understand that. If you got to step out no and worries, get the dude. shit doing. Yeah. Just got a bunch of All shit right. starters over here. All right. I'll see you guys <laughs> later. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. I love you guys. All right.